give you a thousand. What's that? Thousand gold. How much money yeah, have I got? You... Ah. Right. Yeah, I'll give you a thousand. Just put it in the bank. When it's built, obviously. Yeah. Bank names. Bank name generator. Bank name generator. I going thought, above, going above I thought you were just calling it Bank of Thomas. Yeah, we'll just call it Bank of Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a good thing I could do. I could. Right, the bank was this building. I'm just going to turn that, that off for a minute. Is that Jack back? Almost buying up the town. Yeah. You have to buy a housing estate soon. Rent all the houses out. No, you're not playing on my computer, you little bugger. Thomas Tower. Pimp my hide. That one that will do. Oh, found Paisai. Is that the tattoo shop? It is. That. Castle Donkey. Gentle. Uh, oh, oh, the Gentle Donkey. The pub. Oh, no, no, that's not the pub. Is it? I thought this is the pub where I am. <laughs> is it? There you go. Castle Donkey. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. But you can't read. Uh, yeah, you I can read them when they were you looking. Want to change the colour? I can change the colour. Yeah. It's coming a bit dark. It is blending a bit. A black outline or something. That's, that's what I have done.
Hello? Hello? You fixed it. Can you hear me now? Can you yeah. hear me before? Can you hear me like fine or not very well? Yeah, it's clear. it is clearer than before. Um, is that just better? a still broadcast. Yeah. You're only investing shit. I feel like I should invest shit now, but you're too dumb to invest. What? Be nice. All you know is how to smash things and take money back. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm from a. a well, why don't you use that a mercenary group then or something? Group of bailiffs, there you go. Well, yeah, I've already invested in the bank and volunteered myself for a bailiff. Start, start a bailiff deck order then. Well, no, I'll just hire myself out with Thomas as a, a deck collector if he wants it. Well, yeah, that's what you are, but you're going to need some other people to help you, aren't you? Hello. Hello. We'll get, Hello. We'll get on there. Get some more of your giant friends to help you. Well, I don't know if any. Well, I thought all my tribe were dead until I found out my sister might be alive. And if she's not alive, I'm gonna throttle this fucking guy that gave me the necklace. Just like you. In the fact that she's a Goliath, yeah. Right. Right, is everybody here? Is everybody ready? Is everybody on? Yeah, I'll be I'll be ready in less than five minutes. No worries. What are you doing now, Jack? Come on. I'll just put yourself out there. I'll be right back a second then. Oh. Just polished off some Lithuanian vodka. Where'd you get that from? IRL. <laughs> we just found it. Uh, just round at her cousin's house, and uh, oh. the, one of the neighbours is uh, Lithuanian, uh, and they went to their wedding, and obviously like, they brought a bottle of vodka back, I just finished it off, like, you know. You've got your eyesight. Wrong. If you've got your eyesight, yeah, you're all right. Yeah, I can still see. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I was like, just burnt, like, burnt my throat. Wouldn't be surprised it was just ethanol. I was going to say, uh, no. It's just ju juicing, like, wasting her up in it. Mm. I do just fucking drink it. Like, fucking. Like, um, no. Right. For them, it's, it's not even sold as, like, alcohol. Everybody back? Everybody ready? Ready. Ready. Right, uh, so, between you all, you need to determine how much downtime you are going to have. I'm not bored, I'm not really doing much. Well, I'm going to try, if they're going to have loads, I'm going to try and do some skill checks to investigate, maybe find out more about Lord, what's his name, Never Winter, Never Ember. Um, I won't need you to do skill checks on that. I can, you can be doing that in your downtime, and we can work that out as and when you find something. All right. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm just waiting on uh, what's the name, uh, Thomas's missus. Uh huh. Getting back to me. <laughs> so unless somebody desperately wants to do anything in their downtime, I will. I was going to do some well. shopping, but I've not decided what I want yet. So. Okay. So, after a couple of days of you all just chilling and milling about the town, some of you are overseeing various things. Uh, Theodric, we did that a bit earlier, what happened with you. Um, Belle comes to you, Raven, and says she's found something. Is that Thomas's Thomas's wife, wife. yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, she says she's got this book, um, and it specifies in it that there is a cave that is about two days' trek from here that might 
be able to do what you want it to do. Right. Um, she's not sure how you go about doing it. It's just that this book, it's just happenstance. She read it and it has the descriptions in it that relate to that kind of necklace, that kind of gem. Right. Um, the book, she says, does warn you not to go unprepared. Um, there's things in there that might catch the unwitting adventurer out. Um, right. So you can do with that what you wish. Okay. Uh, well, I'll wait until uh, we've we've done more pressing matters like uh, Tokas and that. Um, but thank, uh, I'll thank her for the uh, the information. Are you are you telling her about pressing matters? Um, no, no, I'm just just saying that there's, um, uh, there's there's other things within the group that are more more important right now. She says, "Well, unless you want to wait till next year, I'd get going as soon as possible." Oh, is it like a once a year thing? Yeah, it's it's the um the lunar cycle it's like a bit like the eclipse yeah it, but this it happens once a year um otherwise the magic just wouldn't be there right i'll have to gather everyone then right Where is everybody? I don't play now. I'm fishing. <laughs> I'm fishing off the jetty with, with my daughter if she's uh, if she doesn't hurt me still. Yeah, she's warmed up to a little any, bit. Are there any like kids wandering about? There's a few. Can I offer them all a silver piece each to go and find uh, each of my crew? A silver piece. Of course. Yeah. To hold the hands out. Yeah, give them a, give them each a silver piece. Uh, tell them all to meet me at the the gentle donkey. All right. There's three children there. Giving them each one. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll just scurry off and run off. Um. By the time you've made it to the gentle donkey, um, Kraber, a little child has come up to you. Wielding a silver piece, and oh, it's not another one of my kids, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, "Oh, a beautiful dark elf." She said to meet her at the at the at, at the at the at the donkey. Bye, and then runs off. What does he give me anything? No, he's just passing the message on. Oh. <laughs> if I've been, if I've caught any fish, can I give him a fish before he goes? He's run off. He's he's got he's got other people yeah. to go find. Well, can I try to throw it at him? You can try and throw it at this poor kid if you want. Slap him with it. <laughs> no, it's alright. I won't do it. <laughs> oh, mate, yeah, thank you very much, Jenny. All right. She's run off, I guess. So that's the Odric, are you in your house? Yeah. You hear Wait. a knock at the door. Right. I'll answer the door. There's a little girl and she's, what do you want? she speaks very really quiet and she goes, There was a, a very nice lady and she said um to find um you lot and um she said meet her at the inn. Goodbye and then runs off. Good to know. I'll just slam the door. <laughs> <laughs> she slams the door. Beautiful. Thomas, where are you? I'm in the street, aren't I? Are you just in the streets? Are you with anyone or are I'm, you just... I'm walking down the street. Alright. You have two, two kids. Looking at which houses to buy. <laughs> two kids come up to you and they go, Sir, sir! What? Uh, a nice lady told me to tell you to meet her in the pub. I don't know any nice ladies. 
Uh, well, you came with us. Well, <laughs> They're all evil, the money grubbers. <laughs> Did I ever get mar married? Uh, okay, sir. Well, we passed the message on. Bye! What's the message? Meet her there. What was <laughs> it? <laughs> the pub! He's run off now. He's run off. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I wonder on this place here then. <laughs> so, oh, Chris, this... where are you? Are you already in the pub? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so they don't find you then. Ah, oh, fuck, I sure do. Yeah, just having a beer, having a think. How's the, uh, the information gathering going? Uh, not really that well at the moment. I'm not much of a spy. Oh, yeah, or whatever. I was hoping uh, you and Thomas maybe I'll help me later on. Yeah, um, I do. I do need a hand with something myself. Yeah, as well. Sure. If you would uh, oblige. Yeah, no worries. I'll help I'll wait until the other guys get here. Oh, what? What's this symbol I've got on me? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to work out. There's... Have a look. <coughs> there you go. Alright, so who Craver you were first? So you head into the pub? Yeah, so the and the the pub What's the pub called again? Gentle Donkey. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll i I'll be heading to the pub definitely. All right, yeah. So you'd arrive first. So as you walk in, you see Tokas and Raven having a conversation. Alright, my mates, what's the news? Now then, big man. Um, I need, need all your help, if you don't mind. What seems to be their problem? Um, we'll wait until the other two get here and uh, and I'll explain everything. Hi, right, man. Uh, I'll have a, we'll have a drink, shall we, and uh, discuss it when the rest arrive. Yeah, I'll stick, uh, I'll stick five gold behind the bar um, and Kriber can get whatever he wants. Okay. Lovely, jubbly. I'll have whatever you recommend, barman. All right. He goes to his shelf and he rummages about a bit and he comes over and he puts a bottle and some glasses in front of you. He says, this is the best stuff. Been saving this for a special occasion, but you guys, you're helping us rebuild the town. I think you deserve it. Beautiful. And he, he wanders off. Goes cleaning oh, I nearly forgot. Could I, could, I have, could I have collected my tankard earlier? Yes. Um. So, Theodric, uh, were you going to head to the pub, or...? Yeah, I'm going to tell Harry to mine the place. I'm going to head off. Okay. Harry says, yep, yeah, that's what you pay me for. Yep. Yeah. Ten silver what a day, yep. Yeah. Ten no, silver a day. Not ten silver a day at all. <laughs> Yeah, of course, yeah. Ten silver a day, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Slam the door again. Alright, so you make it to the pub next. What's going on here? Uh, apparently, no, apparently some nice woman was supposed to meet us. <laughs> um, oh, I'll ignore you. that. Yes, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> you want that? Uh, I could, could use all your help. Um, I'll wait until Thomas gets here. Uh, Thomas knows a lot of it anyway, but I'll wait until he's yeah, here and I'll explain. 
I was wondering what he was doing, just wandering about in the back alley for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> is he wondering? Is he not heading here? Well, I guess so, but he's just wandering about. Oh. Probably just trying to work out next part of the town to buy. Oh, yeah. There he is. Stumbles through the doors. There he is. <laughs> some kids come up to me and said someone's hung like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. I have no idea what they're on about. <laughs> oh, did, did, did you give uh, give them a silver piece as well, Sarkas? What? No, I'm just saying, I don't know. I saw all I had was hung like a donkey. I wasn't really concentrating. Right, well, uh, now you're all here. Uh, Thomas will know. Uh, a few days ago, I might have seemed not exactly myself. Um, basically, you all know I'm a warlock. Uh, I get my my power from a higher being. Uh, well, this higher being wants to uh, wants to be able to see everything I do. Um, so this amulet around my neck, I need to somehow get this um, this jewel embedded with a piece of its soul or something, um, so that it can always be with me um, and. Thomas's wife has found a book that explains um, how to how to do it. Um, it's in a cave about two days away, and it only happens once a year. Um, so I I, I, need, I really need your help to to do this. Otherwise, I'm not sure what will happen with uh, with my power. I'd rather not upset my. Uh, I can't remember, can't remember what it's called. Patron. No, what, sorry? Patron. Patron. I'd rather not upset my patron. No problem. I know That's... there's uh, there's other stuff going on with you at the moment, Torcas, but I, I'd really appreciate this. Sorry, right. you're helping me. I'll help you. Thank you. Gets the paper out to write on it for the contract. <laughs> <laughs> You can sign it when it's done. I will sign it when it's done. Alright, so are you planning on setting off now or? Um, two in the afternoon. Can I, can I have a quick look through the book just to see? Because she said that I need to be prepared. Yeah. Um. Can I have a quick look through the book to see if there's anything that might help to sort of explain what um, we need to be prepared for? Um, the book, it doesn't really explain much, as this is only a very small part of the book itself. The book itself is much about the Shadow Realm, which is called the Shadowfell. Um and this is just a very, very small part, so it doesn't have much explanation in it. Um, all it specifies in it is that there will be some sort of test, um, which, if you aren't appropriate for the test, it would backfire. Well... I uh, I need to I need to do it whatever it is. Um, can I can I obviously like, say that to say that to all them? Yeah, you can read from the book. Yeah, we're just uh, there to protect you from anything else. You do the test, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Just I'm saying, like, obviously we're going into the unknown, so I'd understand if any of you felt that, uh, that you didn't want to do it. No, that's all right. We got you back. Is there a chance of a fight? I'm sure there'll be plenty of chances for a fight. Well, count me in then. Um, well, we'll spend an hour or so doing whatever we need to do, and we'll get we'll get going. All right. Right. Yeah. 
I'll think uh, I've got a question for. Yes. Uh, I was. I'm looking at ways to boost my AC because at the moment mine's pretty low. Uh huh. And I know you can you can get like a, a ring, which obviously I wouldn't really wear because I've got my knuckle dusters on. Uh huh. Uh. So I'm looking for alternatives, uh, and I found all it is is basically someone's uh, done a home brew, but all they've done is just basically given a pair of braces uh, a plus two to AC. Uh, they're called braces of unarmed defence, uh-huh. uh, and it's just basically some fine le- leather braces. Uh, infused with a minor magical charm that helps the user to, the user to avoid attacks made against them. Basically, just gives me a plus two rather than me wearing a ring or something. Yeah. But, um. If you want something like that made, you'd have to speak to Belle. At the moment, she's the only person in town that can acquire or make magical items. So, could I? Can I have talk to her? And see if she can make them. Because I, I mean, my character would have asked this before. I don't mean I don't think I should have it now. Obviously, I'm yeah, not yeah. saying give me, um, give me, give me it now. But I'm just saying that would I be able to give it a crack on and she'd, get me she, something she, like that? she can put some feelers out and see if she can get one some acquired for you. Yeah. Right. Lovely. Yep. That's it then. Cool. Okay. So. Are you setting off today, or when are you planning on going? Just... When? How long is the time limit? Is it like in two days' time from today, or is it in a week? In the book, it's there's a week, and the start of the week from what you can deduce from the book starts tomorrow. So we've got time to get there, then? Yeah, so you've got plenty of time oh. to get there. Where's my set off now, though? Get an early start on it. Yeah, well, you never know what problems might occur. I was just worried that it'd be two days from now and we might miss it. That's all. No, it's, it's a full week, but it only happens once a year. <coughs> right, we're setting off now. Yeah, I'm happy to go. Can I buy some crossbow bolts and things? Yeah. Rations. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy some javelins. I keep fucking forgetting to get just... back. What the prices are on the um, player's handbook? They uh, won't. They don't inflate the prices because they like you I guys. Don't, I don't even know. I don't even know to be honest. Um, what are you planning to uh, buy? Javelins. Javelins. Last one's with ten gold in it. A javelin is 10 gold? No, rations are 10 gold, I think. Oh, right. I've, I've got enough rations. Oh, like, I no, think so. They're well expensive. Oh, that's for one day, though, isn't it? Is that for right. one day? Dra- javelins are five silver pieces. Rations, one a day, quality, 10. Right, I'll have 10 of Five them. gold. In hell. That's 10 for five gold, is there? Rations for one day cost five silver pieces. Yeah, so ten rations is five gold, isn't it? Only ten rations. Yeah, the javelin, yeah. isn't it? Cost for what's a uh, gold for twenty. Yeah, so if I may as well have ten, I may as well have ten rations as well. Top up, top them up. I need five gold. All right. So, whilst you've been shopping, you've been an hour or so shopping, getting ready, um, buying your. Common items and stuff like rations, javelins, bolts, bits and pieces. Anybody else want you to buy anything? Uh, I'll just get some rations. That's it. Okay. Um, I'll let you lot manage your character sheets and stuff then. But yeah, there's plenty of common stuff anyway for you to. What about magical items? Is there any random magical items? 
Um, well, it's, there, any magical items would be in Belle's shop. Yeah, well, has she got anything? She's got a couple of bits and pieces, yeah. Got. Um, let me have a look. Right, she has a couple of potions, um, a few scrolls, she has a shield, um, and she has a few wands. Can't use any of it. Alright. Fair enough. Alright then, so you're going to make your way through, are you going to travel through the night or are you making camp along the way? I'll make camp, shall we? Alright, so you get there, you travel through, up, on the map, I'll put you on the, on this map, then you can see where it is. So you're travelling up towards Neverwinter, along the high road, um, and you get to about Neverwinter before you have to make your first stop. Um, you can either choose to go into Neverwinter or you can camp outside it. Should we go in? Save the ration, not it? Yeah, there's yeah. plenty of inns and pubs and guest houses in Neverwinter, it's a big city, um, any that'll, whatever you want to spend, there's ranging from just a bed to a really fancy pub. Somewhere in between, how much is that? Somewhere in between will cost you about two gold for the night. Two oh, gold? Cool. Big city. Yeah, that two gold will do. Yeah, it yeah. obviously includes breakfast and anything else that you require. Um, when you get outside, well, as you approach this pub, there is a man there handing out leaflets. <coughs> and as you all walk past him, he says, "Here, here, leaflet, here." I'll take one. Yeah. I'll take one as well. Yeah. What does it say? It is a leaflet which is a spa that has just opened and it has a 10% off coupon attached. Awesome. A spa? A spa. As in wash yourself spa? Yeah. No, as in the corner shop ones. <laughs> Do I have to ask? <laughs> Bathhouse. <laughs> It could be a sparring ring. No. Well, I'll go, no. can I take a leaf later if that's what it's going to be? Yeah, he, he, he'll yeah. Hand, hand them out, yeah. Any excuse to get naked in public, Turkas? <laughs> going to a spa. <laughs> well, well, I could do with some relaxation. Yeah, so... River's well up for a spa. Yeah, <laughs> so you, all, you can all go to the spa if you like. If that's where you're all yeah. heading. Alright, so you head to this spa... And from the outside, it looks extremely extravagant. And as you walk in, are you going to hand your leaflets over? Or... Yeah, depends yeah, how much yeah. it is. How, how much is it for all of us? For all of you? Uh, how many of you is mm. there? Five. It'd be 50 gold for all of you. 10% off. I'll take care of that. That is 10% oh, off. That, that is 10%. Is it? Yeah. That's, 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 that's very kind, yeah. Well, I'll pay myself, I'll... I think. No, it's all right. I'll I'll do it. You're all helping me out. It's gonna be one of those adventures, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what well, we need a relaxation one of those episodes far. that takes no, place. Can I ask for some soap and a rope? <laughs> <laughs> what, afraid you get bummed in the shower when you're <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> tired to me. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they say uh, changing room. I have for a the, wifey though. Changing rooms are, are for the men are on the left. Changing rooms for the women are on the right. Yeah. Changing room. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Raven, you walk into your side. There's a few women milling about of various races, but it's quite quiet. Um. It's segregated, so you won't see the men at all. And there's oh. hot tubs, oh, there's well, saunas, here, <laughs> there's jacuzzis, there's even massage tables, there's a beauty bar. So whatever you would like to do, you've got basically free reign. So, lads, is it making must wrestling time? Well, I was thinking of a jacuzzi followed by a massage. I thought you were going to say manicure. Like manicure? What's a yeah. manicure? You can they wash my clothes? Uh, yeah, they can wash your clothes for you if you want. Good. You need my clothes washing. Yeah, she calls <laughs> over. She calls over a, a maid and picks up your clothes and takes them off to wash them. Yeah. She says that what's the, what's the rules for the jacuzzi? Is it pants on or pants off? Well, I suppose that's up to you lot, I guess. Right, yeah, I'm going in completely naked. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are all on the men's side, and I say there's lots of jacuzzis, hot tubs, saunas, and so you can do what you like. Is there many other people in here? Um, on your side, there is quite a few men of various races about. Um, it's a bit more busier than the woman's side. And I'm, I'm guessing that they're all, they must all be quite wealthy. Do they come across wealthy? Uh, from the way they hold themselves, you can tell that, yes, they have some sort of wealth, or at least social standing. So, what's the... Do they have uh, any reaction when us just not walk in there? I mean, a couple of them sort of glance in your direction, and... <sighs> And they kind of roll their eyes a bit, but they don't physically, they don't actually say anything. Well, that's exactly where I'm going then. I'm going to go, and where are they in the jacuzzi or something? Um, there's a couple in the jacuzzi, there's a couple in the sauna, um, yeah. and there's a couple just getting changed. Right, well, Crabe is whipping off his pants, shouting at the top of his voice, Cannonball! And he's going to go cannonball in the jacuzzi where they all rolled their eyes at him. <laughs> it's, like, it's like three foot deep. Uh, yeah, I've, already got, I've already got in a jacuzzi. It's a multiple jacuzzi. Oh, oh yeah, there's, there's, there's more than one. Yeah, um, I'll get them on my own. Raven, on your side, there is a rather large outdoor but closed off pool that um, there is a, a couple of women swimming in as well. Um. I am just going to go um, in a jacuzzi. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't want to go on the uh, massage table because I don't want to be. She don't want to be touched. <laughs> but yeah, you notice that your side is relatively quiet. There's only the odd woman milling about. Can I see? Sort of. Is there any gap or anything to see? Any sign of the uh, the men? Or... Uh, not that you know of. There. Um, you notice that possibly outside where the pool is, there is like a glass thing in the middle that separates it, but you can see through. Can I go out and see see if I can see any of them? None of them are outside at the moment. Nah. I'm going to stand there pulling um, strongman poses everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't bother Thomas, you're embarrassing yourself to be that. <laughs> oh, that's my strength first. Oh, Just uh, get, in the, get in the jacuzzi, mate. Yeah, so. Strength of 30. Uh, he, doesn't, he, doesn't have to get, he doesn't have to game with me. To be honest, I like this on beat on my own, and the others play. Can I get in the jacuzzi with out. him, then? Yeah. <laughs> he offers it for me to get in, and then can I wash myself in the soap? Yeah. Fair so. enough, it's for relaxing, not washing, though. Even well, I know that, and I'm a savage. <laughs> <laughs> Soap on the rope. 
I wanted to bum you, I don't think you could do much about it, to be honest. It's always about bumming with you, isn't it? <laughs> I know. It's always about bumming. I, can't, I just had this soap, so I didn't lose it in the jacuzzi. And you're oh, all about right, bumming okay. me. Well, I've heard about your human prisons where people get raped in their fucking... There's plenty of like Goliaths in them prisons as well. <sighs> They're all Goliaths, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, so you all spend a relaxing day and night in this beautiful spa. Probably <laughs> against the clock or something. <laughs> what? Like that. what? What was that? I thought we were doing something against the clock or something. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought we were just spending the evening. I thought we arrived like no, no it's got, it's, it's got beds in Wait, there. Wait. You paid for the night. Oh, so yeah. there's, so there's oh, right, okay. very, very comfortable beds upstairs yeah, on the second floor. You can have a massage as well. Yeah, you can all have like a massage. A you can all have a... Yeah. So you all wake up feeling relaxed and rejuvenated. Beautiful breakfast. And you all get a point of inspiration. For spending a day oh, in the spa. Nice. Uh, where did we put that? <laughs> Just remember you've got it. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Um, I'll forget. I'll I've, I've, I've had, I've had, uh, this will be the third point of inspiration I've had. Probably the third one I won't use. So <laughs> yeah, I forgot, I forgot we had one last week. I don't even know how to use them. You can use them on any dice roll and add the number that you roll to it. So is it a D8 or a D6 or something like that? It's a D6. D8 are uh, bad ones. I've had one since the wine, so I've used it. Right, uh, that was nice. Should we get going again? Yeah. Here we are. Where so. are we going? <laughs> uh, so cave. Fair enough. Alright, so you go further up. This time, you're off the map. Um but there's no towns or cities nearby for your next night. Um, so if you're making camp, are you making camp, or are you just going to yeah. go through the night? Yeah, yeah. So you make yourself a camp. Um, any of you taking watch? Yeah. So you sort out all your watches. Nothing particularly happens. Um, and you wake up in the morning after you're fully rested. I'd like to see if I can uh, find some food rather than break into a ration. Yeah, you can do. Uh, yeah. Do you want to do me a survival check? Yes. Uh, um, you find a few berries and stuff, but it doesn't quite sustain you. Uh, I'll have a look. Survival yeah. check. Yeah. You find uh, one it. less berry than Kraber did. I'll just have a ration. <laughs> I'll have a ration with some berries. Survival. 21, Theodric, yeah, you, you, you kill the deer. Yeah, you fight, you manage to hunt a deer and you drag it back to the camp. You can cook it. And you can all have a bit of deer. Who said I was sharing? We didn't say you were sharing. <laughs> you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat that whole thing. Come on. All right, fine. I'll share it. Can I? Can I see if there's any ticks attached to its underbelly and start wolfing those down? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Full of nutrients, aren't they? The only, the only yeah, suck out the best bits. Just because monkeys do it, I mean, you have to do it. I know, other people suck off the best bits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For that, you get the head. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so you've all had a nice deer stew or whatever you made with it. And... Is, is there any good uh, an antlers on this deer? Uh, it's a female deer, so it doesn't have any. Okay. 
So, are you continuing on? Yeah, yeah, let's go. So, you travel for a few more hours. You get to about midday when you come across the place on the map that the book indicates. Oh, you're off that map. No. Um, okay. And there is a cave exactly where the book said it would be. Well, that's not bad. Are you going in? Yeah, well, I like yeah. torch. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Spooky as fuck. Look at all these mushrooms. <laughs> I'd maybe, uh, I'd maybe not touch the mushrooms. All right, so as you walk down the passageway, you come to a large opening, which has a lot of fluorescent mushrooms. It looks like that. Uh, it looks like Black Reach in Skyrim. Oh, yeah. Where's Skyrim? Never heard of it. <laughs> Just some place, some place up north. All oh, right. Do you say you were lighting a torch, Tokas? Yeah, I did, yeah. I don't, didn't think we need it, would we, for all these luminescent mushrooms or whatever? Yeah, yeah, if, this, if I can see, all right, if you buy the mushrooms, then. Some some dude over there. Where? Some dude, where? Um, I can see him in the distance. I've got those, dark vision. Those so that do have the dark vision will be able to see him. Um, He doesn't look like he's completely there. He's like a shadowy kind of figure. You can a kind of think you can see through him. Is that bit completely black or is that blocked off? No, it's just because of the light. The mushrooms oh, only yeah. give off a certain amount of light. Did you put a torch on me? Did you want... Yeah. What's he doing? Some, some dude. <laughs> I should say hello. Can I say hello to this man? Yeah, Shout one second. Person. Just giving a torch. Who are you saying hello to? There's just some bloke standing over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put out, Tokas. Well, sorry for you, I can't fucking see beyond. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this guy, is this what you're on about? Yeah, he's just stood there. Right, um, um, just stay next to focus. Yeah, he is kind of just stood there. Um, he turns around when you've all said hello to him, and he says, hello. What, what are you doing? doing? All right, mate, what are you doing lurking in the shadows? I am the guardian of this cave. Oh, dear. Maybe you can, uh, maybe you can help. Oh, what do you need help with? I need to uh, embed a, a, a soul into this uh, jewel, and then put it into the this amulet. Um, he sort of he looks at the amulet. He sort of steps a bit forward, and he points to behind him in the middle of the uh, lake that you can see in the cave. Um, he's, you, can I don't know if you can actually see that far. Can you see that far? No, you can't see that far. No, I can see that far. Jacob can see that far, though. Jacob, mm -hmm. what you can see in the middle is an altar that looks like it's floating above the water. Cool. Um, he says to you, Raven, that the magic of this cave is in that altar, and he points behind him. May I, may I go near it, or may I go to it? He says, well, yeah, by all means. He steps aside. Is there anything? Oh, I can see the altar. How deep, this, how deep is this water? The water is extremely deep. 
It's a good thing you have that is, ring, isn't it, Thomas? Is there anything I need to know about this, uh, this altar? Uh, he says, I don't really know very much about it myself. I have been tasked to guard it um, from pillagers and undead. And I've been here thousands of years. Oh dear. Is it who, fucking, uh, who, who Jones, has fucking, you, you have chose poorly. Is that what he is? is that, he's like an old knight. Um, that would be a good voice for a Turkas, would you? Could <laughs> <laughs> be. I, I don't know why you don't adopt that voice. It's a good one. I think I think you could, you should go with Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> You'd have to get well, a on voice if I was if I was any good impression. Oh, what the fuck is cooking? <laughs> right, how are we going to get over there if we, we can't fucking if this water's too deep then he looks Thomas to you a, lot ring, and he looks to Raven he says only one is supposed to go across oh, it will gosh. only let one get across right go for it Raven let's see how it's me uh, who tasked you with uh God in this place. I do not know. All I know is that is my purpose. And he steps back over here and just watches. Oh shit! Do you need the ring to get across? What's the what ring is it? A ring of puddle walking. You have, to be attuned, you have to be attuned to it, don't you? I think so, yeah. It takes a day to attune to items. Yeah. Just, can you, can you piggyback her across? Oh no, you can't go across. Only one. Can you just swim across? Can you just throw sand to see if there's a magical bridge? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> The sand just um, goes into the water, but you hear the man behind you chuckling. What? Do you know if it's a wet man? <laughs> I told you, only one may go across. Have faith. Have faith. You take a step in, I swear. Have faith. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to go. Oh, bloody... Can you swim? What's the worst can happen? You don't. You you fall in the water. You were about to say drown. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? You drown. <laughs> well, it goes up to Turkas's neck, doesn't it? No, she's <laughs> well. Fred said it's deep, so. Yeah. Uh, just swim. Can I just the water. can I just put my foot? Onto it and just see if my foot goes in a little bit. <coughs> yeah, as you place your foot on it, uh, you it feels solid. Ah, oh, nice. Sure, it uh, is a rock. I'm still gonna reluctantly like take a second step though. Yeah. Am I good? Yeah, you can still solid. It, fe it feels like like some sort of invisible bridge. Step. Fucking knew it. Can I see anything, or is it just like I'm just walking on the water? Yeah, you you look like you're just walking on, on the water, yeah. Right. If anything, you lot. If anything kicks off, uh, you two do any range attacks over on the thing, because me and Craver can't see over there for a start. And we'll cover anything that happens on the land here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh something so might be happening. What's right. going on? I'm loading it's again. Like, like another step. Yep, yeah, you still okay? Oh, yeah, I'm loading it. I'm preloading the next map, that's why. Alright. Another step. Okay. Right, yeah. I think I think now I trust it, so I'm just gonna walk normally over to it. Okay, you get to this altar, um, which looks like it's floating. It's about chest height to you on the top. Um, doesn't look like there's actually anything on it, other than a nice black altar runner.
Does it, so is there anything on it that looks like it's meant to have anything placed in it? No. It doesn't look like there's anything on it at all other than the cloth. Uh, can I put the jewel on the cloth? You can. And as you do so, I just need to... You get um, a view of shadow around you. You basically lose vision for a minute. And you guys, you all see that she disappears from your view in a... I don't see shit because I can't see her anywhere. Whoever can see her. Oh, well. Well, jobs are fucked, (laughs) And as, as, as you get your vision back, I will pull you into whispers and we'll do it privately. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello. Right, so when you get pulled into this Shadowland, you can see this tube full of red liquid and what looks to be some kind of shadowy figure inside it. Oh, is it like the same size as me? Um, it's a bit smaller than you, but it's kind of floating next to you. Um, I say, uh, who are you? Um, you see that the shadow inside the tube looks at you, and let me double check what check it is. What check is it? And can you make me a Constitution saving throw, please? Fifteen. Right. This thing smashes the glass around it and attaches itself to you. Um, and it is now controlling you. Oh. So I am going to put you back in there. It's just so you know that you that are now being you're, controlled. You're controlling it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can still right. speak normally. Um, yeah. You still have but, control of your own voice, but any actions I'll control. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, will she, will she know that she she's not the one doing the actions until an action is done? Uh, you. I mean, what you do now is up to you. Um, this thing has attached itself to you. It hasn't done any damage to you. But you feel like it is like your body isn't your own at the moment. Right. So what would you oh. like to do? Uh have I, did I is the jewel still on the table? Oh it the is. altar. It is, yeah. Um do me a history check. Just to see if you know about this. Ah, yes, you you know that you are in what is called the Shadowfell, which is yeah. basically like it's a bit like a parallel universe, kind of. It's where sort of death crosses life in the world in this kind of world. So it's like sort of the in between the lines bit. Um, yeah where a lot of, obviously, undead reside and shadowy things reside. Um, So you know quite a bit and you understand that this thing, whatever it is, is somehow related to your patron. Uh, Is there any way of... Putting like getting the jewel into the amulet, or um, will it will it not? Does it have to be actually like welded in? No. Um, you hear a voice in your head, um, and it just says, "Good work, Raven. Good work." And then you'll get transported back. 
so I will pull, pull you back in a second. Uh, don't see... And I'll put you back in the chat. Right. You suddenly see Raven pop out the shadows again. Yeah. Oh, we've lost her. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Get ready to kill this guy. <laughs> and I need you four to make me an intelligent saving throw, please. So, uh, is this to, to see Raven? Because then. No. Is someone to do with Raven then? No. Okay. 17. Intelligent saving throw, was it? Right? Yeah. Right. None of you passed, so that's how do you get perfect. how do you get a plus three to a cast? Um, how are you that intelligent? I am for am I intelligent like one. fifteen, which is a plus two. I don't know what the plus one is. Right, you are all stunned. So all you, you, you're all stunned. Are you just fear, Fiodri? If I are you just hid behind one of us? No, I'm in front of you. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> you be in forever. You'll be angry forever. All right, and Raven starts moving back across the bridge. I don't quite feel myself, guys. What do you mean you don't quite feel yourself? Um, I'm not too sure. You're not that woman that we've met before, are you? No. Why are you just me? I am. I'm me, but I don't feel completely, uh, completely me. You see that this guy, he steps forward and he takes a knee and he bows his head and he says, you were the chosen one. Hello? 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 I missed yeah, it. Hello. I question. As soon as I asked, what's wrong? It cut off. <laughs> What's that, Raven's the chosen one, apparently. Oh, right. Chosen for what? Just... Oh, what? Raven just threw a rat tail. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what, what do you mean, I'm the chosen one? Says, she chose you. And Is then... this the guy talking? Yeah. And before you can ask any more questions, he just disappears into the shadows. <coughs> that was easy. Right. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Our work here is done. Let us be going. Tokas, you start hearing whispers in your head. Oh, saying what? You can't quite make out what it's saying. But you start hearing things like a woman's voice in your head. What? Is anybody else hearing these? Hearing what? I can hear whispers. Can you all make a perception check? The careless whispers. Whispering sweet nothing. Is it George Michael? <laughs> well, have a look. Perception. Right. Perception. Be nice I've lost it. Touch there your is. Body. <laughs> right, is that everybody? One, two, three, four. Tokas, oh, can you do me, a, do me a perception? Oh, it's a skill, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Thomas, Kraber, and Theodric. You all notice that Thomas's shadow looks a bit darker, and it, when you see it sort of like in the corner of your eye, it starts creeping towards people. It's like. <laughs> nice, nice, can crib a stamp on it? It can, doesn't do anything. It's a fight with a shadow. <laughs> Awesome. Kick the shit out of it. It wants to fight, Graver. 
It was fight you. My we'll start shadow boxing. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. But can I get? Can I line my shadow up with it and then try and punch it? Um, you can. His shadow actually starts strangling yours. Do I feel this? You don't feel nothing, no. Can I, can I, can I get my shadow to line up with it and start fighting it as well? Yeah. Like, and... get, try and wrestle it off, punch it off Cravers. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> uh, Theodric, whilst you're watching this, you notice there's little glowing orbs starting to appear in, around you and sort of hover near you. Oh, what the fuck is going We've on? We've been fucking thing? cursed. <laughs> cursed, I tell you. What do you mean? You're, you're the can one I... who's doing shadows attacking people. Only do... you, Theodric, can see these orbs. Yeah. That's that fighting back, shadow style. Yeah. You, <laughs> you looking at your shadow whilst you're doing it, you notice it's not quite in time with you. Oh, it's shit then, isn't it? Because I'm an expert fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some floating on. So do I still have control over my shadow? Yeah, you still have control over your yours. It's just his. It's just fucking his. Um, you probably being cursed. I'm all being cursed. Craver. Can I try and catch it out? You can try, yeah. <laughs> you catch it out a couple of times, yeah. Um, Craver, you... Look, when you turn your head towards where the man was stood, you you can see, like, as if you were seeing the past. Him stood there, you stood near the water, and your group, and Raven walking across the water for a split second, and then it disappears. I think we'd better get out of it. It's all these mushrooms. <laughs> Nobody's eating any mushrooms. <laughs> don't have to eat them. Maybe we're inhaling all this weird gas that's coming off or something, I don't know. You don't know. Maybe. If I move away from Thomas, does my shadow move with me? Yeah. Yeah. The... Oh, I think we should Thomas's, get out of here. Thomas' shadow like... stops strangling yours as you move away. Alright, let's get out of here then. Let's just leave. <laughs> I don't like these glowy orbs around me either. The orbs the follow you. They're just orbs. I don't see no orbs. What can, uh, I, do? What can I do with them? Try to run away from them. Yeah, I'll run away from them. <laughs> they just follow you. Well, it's like a delay, isn't it? They're like they're trying to keep up, are they? Or no, they're, they're, they're following you. Uh, what do they look like if I take a closer look? They're just like floating orbs. Pretty much, yeah. They're just they're just like like um like sort of shadowy, glowy. Orbs. Ooh. When you come in, Raven. We have to test this. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm staying slightly behind you. Can I can I tell right. my shadow to attack to, uh, Tokas? Um, <laughs> what do you have in your pockets, Tokas? Uh, gold, probably. That's about it. Um, if I've... you feel something in your pocket, and you see Thomas's shadow retreating away with a gold piece. Awesome. <laughs> Got to train this as a ninja. What the fuck? <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I, <laughs> these orbs that are floating around, can I catch them? Like, go grab them? Yeah, you can. Just... Your hand kind of sort of goes through them, but they have some sort of substance. So, like, it, 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 you can, like, feel, like, the fluffy, cloudy kind of feeling, but you can't physically grab them. Like smoke. Oh. Yeah, like smoke. And then have you got an empty bottle? No. No. Let's get out of this cave, shall we? Give me a second, because like... cause I'm going to put things on your sheets now. So, uh, da, da, da. What do you actually have? Oh, I was cursed. Mine's also, I don't I'm like off floating lights. I mean, I've just got, I've got fairy lights. You've got a shadow. <laughs> shadow. There. You've got a shadow that can pick pocket people. Well, I hope we can do a lot more than that. 
<laughs> like what? Just DK to a customer. <laughs> Right. Where is it? It's like Peter Pan's shadow, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you have control now, Raven, by the way. Well, oh, she's got com complete control of herself again. She's got complete control of yourself, but you do have a tattoo that you didn't have before. Whereabouts is it? On your chest and down your arms. Whoa. Uh, That's all right now. Yeah. Hello. 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 Right. <laughs> Thanks. No. My shadow. Kraber. Kraber, can you choose a language, please? What do you mean, choose a language? Just choose. Any language. No, a language in D&D. That I can speak. Chinese. No, you don't. No, one that you can't speak. Uh. What? You want me to read him out? Have we lost him? Hello? No, yeah, I'm here, yeah. Yeah. What, what are you reading out? I need you to choose a language. Yeah, Dwarven. Dwarven. Right, that's fine. Uh, choose me a skill. Or two skills. That you... It's random. Yeah, the ones that you don't have proficiency in. Okay, uh, stealth and vision. And what, sorry? Persuasion. Persuasion, right. That's your setup. If you look in your feet, you will see what it is. Raven. In D and D Beyond, or on the in D and D Beyond, on, yeah, uh... it'd be in your feet. Right. I'll tell you what they're called when I've given everybody's out. So Raven, yours should be in your feet on D and D Beyond now. Uh... Uh, Theodric, yours should be in your D and D Beyond now. What the actual app? Yeah. Yeah. It's in your feet. Yeah, I can see it. And Tokash, yours should be done now as well. How come right. I was the only one that got to choose? Because that's what yours was. I instead of doing it randomly, I just let you choose. Uh, feet. I'm, I'm I'm not seeing anything new. Refresh your page because I only just put it in. Oh right, yeah. And Tokas, in your head, you can hear these whispers. And they sound familiar. I can't remember what I had before. I'm still not. Is it? Oh, feet. Oh, covered whisper. Yeah. So, everybody should have. Ah. Um, Tokas, yeah. you should have gathered whispers. 
Thomas, you should have Living Shadow. Fraber, you should have Echoing Soul. Theodric, you should have Watchers. And Raven, you should have Symbiotic Being. I've got Venom. You've got Venom, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what my messages do. I can't actually click on it. Uh, your messages, um, I can copy and paste it into the into Discord for you. So, yours. Oh, well, let me copy and paste. have to do it in multiple things. Right, so there's one. And then you get that. That. And then your voices from beyond are that. Can everybody else see theirs? Yeah. Do I get... Uh... Yeah. Living oh, spirit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I see it. Though. Yeah. Is that what I get? No, that's just the spell that you get with it. You click on the actual the actual bold t name for, of it. All right. There you go, and then you can read it. So whose is this in the discords? That one's Tokus's because he couldn't read his. Right. I don't know why you wanted to click on it. It says messages, can't you? So I believe I need to make notes. So yours happens on roll of a one. Not one. Yours happens on a nat one. Oh, that could be uh, beneficial or not. Is this every time I make an attack roll? Oh no, is that a roll of one? A roll a d4. Yeah. So obviously, Raven, you will know what your symbiotic's agenda is because it's your patron. Yeah. <laughs> so you know the kind of things that your patron's interested in. So it should have given you its um, skill proficiency that you didn't have before and the language that you didn't have before as well on yours. Yours is more. Yeah, so yours is fine. Don't need to see yours. Craver, can you see yours all right? Yeah, I can see mine. Uh, the languages are just the ones that I had anyway. Yours is a nat one as well. So, Craver is a nat one. It's just I'm making notes so I know who's got what. Just so I can keep track as well as you. So, whilst you're all having a read through it. What? Oh, you just got here. I know. But this is what it was going to be. Oh, 
Cool idea, this, by the way, Fern. I like it. These are from the new book. Mm. There's a new book. You say cool idea. I don't like the sound of that, to be honest. No, I don't like the sound of what's going to happen, but I think it, I, it adds a lot more flavour to, to the game. Yeah. Mine's a mischievous little bastard. That's what mine does. Yeah. Mine just make, makes my charisma drop. There's a lot of stuff. Oh. Always watching. But yes, so Tokas, now that you've had a read through, you don't hear lots of voices, you just hear one voice, and it's a woman's voice that sounds extremely familiar to you. Uh, can I make a guess on who it is? Like a you can make me an in insight, yeah? An insight check would work. Can't here. Which uh, of these did it get? Do I get an advantage because you say it's familiar, or just normal? Uh, yeah, you can have advantage. Yeah, for for you don't quite remember the voice. It's been a long time. It's not my fucking a female family member. Yeah. You can make assumptions if you wish, but until the voices are louder, you can't really yeah, hear yeah. it. Which one of these do I get? Um, five. Uh, three. And uh, six. <laughs> So when it's not being watched, my shadow makes threatening gestures or creeps towards people. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It also breaks tiny non-magical objects. And it fiddles with stuff. I can see that being annoying. <laughs> yeah, but it can cast um, Mage Hand and can carry up to ten pounds. Yeah. Guess who's having a special wank tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Look, no hands. <laughs> you sick. I shouldn't be you. Sorry if you're not watching it, though. That's fucking awful. <laughs> no, it creeps off to other people when I'm not watching it. <laughs> Better not be fucking touch any of us in the night. <laughs> <laughs> How far can it go from your body? Does it just come off like in Peter Pan? Yeah. Yeah, you it does, to, yeah. You have to stape it back on after one. Well, the mage hand, it's not it's bound to his actual shadow. Right. So his shadow itself is always connected to him. It can just, it's just always there. No matter whether it's sunny or not, he will always have a shadow. Perverse little bastard. Yeah, just as perverse as you. But yeah, I tried getting ones that kind of fit with your characters. So, run with them as you will. Um, I will put you back on the main map. Seeing as you're leaving. And I will be back in a second so I need to go get a drink. So whilst we're all having a read and getting familiar with it. Melee <laughs> attack. Oh, my God, you must have been a great guest. Shame on you. Don't trust me to take care of that. You stupid. I don't. I'm not a big guest. 
Right, I'm back. Does anybody have any questions about what they've just been given? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Uh, in the sudden cacophony bit, uh -huh. did add your add your proficiency bonus to their AC. Uh, add your proficiency bonus of your AC to against that attack. Uh huh. What's the more proficiency bonus? Your proficiency bonus is plus three. Plus three at the moment. Oh, right, okay. At least I think it is. Let's have a look. It'd be the same as mine, won't it? Plus three. Yeah, plus three. So Anybody else have, have any other attack. any other questions? Nope. Right. So you you just heading back or you stopping at the spa again? I wouldn't mind going back to the spa. Oh, I'm too on edge now to go relax, I think. Don't like these voices. Voices. At least you haven't got glowing shit floating around you all the time. <laughs> always watching. Oh, glowing shit. Oh, I'm I always, my glowing shit. I'm always glowing. Well, it makes it harder to talk to people, I'm afraid. Oh, well, that, yeah. I've got voices in my head. I was after <laughs> talking to people. I'm listening to some I words. guarantee you that mine is worse than, well, better and worse than all yours. What the fuck happened anyway, Raven? You're going to tell us. Why have we all got this shit? Yeah, I went into the, uh, the Shadow Realm. Basically, the, 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 the bit between life and death. Um, and I think right now. I might have my uh, patron living in, inside me. I thought that happened anyway. I'm having a guess that that's what we witnessed last no. time. That, no. Yeah, that's that's once once a month. Um, she gets complete control. But I don't know if that's going to be the case anymore because now she's always with me. But we'll, uh, I suppose we'll see what happens in the future. I will say, just do whatever you need to do. What? If your patron takes control it's of you? Just in case anything, whatever happens. All right. So the first night you camp out, uh, Tokas, can you do me another insight check, please? No, you still don't recognise the voice. And then the next day, you get to Neverwinter about midday ish. Are you stopping in Neverwinter? Are you going to the spa? I, mean, I think we may as well carry on, it's only midday. 
Yeah, okay, let's carry on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's All carry right. on. Let's go and uh, let's go and sort out. All right. As that bed that came to see you us. Get, you get about here, and it's night time. Do you wish to camp, or do you want to travel through the night? Yeah, I'll camp. Forever so... votes to camp. And he says he'll take the first watch. Can you do me another insight check, um, Tokas, with advantage? I will give you that. <laughs> you recognize. <laughs> you finally recognize this voice, um, as this voice starts humming a lullaby, which you instantly recognize as the lullaby you used to sing for your sister. The voice is my sister, sorry, I missed that. Yeah. Wait a minute, this isn't right. If these, this voice is from the Neverworld, or wherever it is, it means she, my sister's dead. From the Shadow Realm. That's what you assume, Tokas. So whatever you want. Well, it means this fucker's playing me, then. The, if my sister's dead, this is her voice I'm hearing. Well, it's whatever you think it is. I don't know if she's dead or not. Right, well, I'm going to kill this motherfucker then. <laughs> right. Can I talk to this spirit? Or is yeah. it just whispering randomly? It's, it's, it is we're just whispering at you, but you can attempt to talk to it, yeah? Can I ask her if she's dead? Um, You can't quite hear an answer, but it does seem affirmative, um, as if she's trying to say yes. Right, this motherfucker. I'm not spying for that for a motherfucker anymore. I'm gonna kill him. Can I ask her? Oh, can I ask her how she died? Um, was it the fire? Was it the fire giants? Um, you get the feeling that she's saying no. She survived the fire giants. These guys must have fucking. How long ago was it? Can I ask her when? Uh, she whispers, but you can't really quite catch what she's saying. You have to hone the skills. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask her some other time again, but I'll leave it for now. Okay. Um, you also noticed, as you've been over the past couple of days, a couple of extra voices that are a bit quieter have been added to the whispers. That Stupid shadow. <laughs> <laughs> you get oh, the feeling fucking... you, you get the feeling like her they are some form of family. Great. Been haunted by my dead tribe. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, with my, oh, I've got another question, with my other world. Go on, I'll yeah, carry on, bud. Carry on. Um, can I ask if there were any survivors? Does she know? She doesn't respond. Other than me, obviously. She, she doesn't respond because she doesn't know what to say. All right. All right, so, okay. We have go on. With my patron. Uh huh. Um, I, I can't fully remember, uh, but basically like, what, what does my patron want from, uh, from life, basically? Um, from what she's told you, you know that she wants to experience everything the world has to offer. Because right. you know that her actual soul, her being, is trapped somewhere in prison somewhere but that's as much information as she gave you she you you know that all she wants to do is experience the world uh, so basically she just wants freedom yes basically so all right for Whatever yours for her not. agenda if you say come across something that could potentially free her and then you choose not to do it that would then trigger your bad ability i suppose 
Yeah, yeah so not something like going and sleeping with some bloke who I don't want to sleep with, but she does. Yeah, no, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be something like that. It's more... Awesome. She'd want Just to something go that out... Could, for, could allow her to have her own... Yes. Her own, like, being. Yeah. Right, that's fine. I mean, she may occasionally say, I want you to do this, and you'd have more than enough coherence to basically say no. But yeah, she, I think she's... I have to do like a, a charm save or something. Yeah, but um, most of the time she wouldn't force the issue. Right. But something that would definitely sort of be about her freedom, she would attempt to force it. Right. Okay? Yeah. So, anybody else have any questions? No, I'll go for now. No, right. So, well, not good, but <laughs> next day. So, you get back into Lelian. I will put you back on this map. And Harry runs up to you, Theodric. Yeah. And he says, The scribes. Nice the scribes from Candlekeeper here. Oh, that's good. Where are they? Um, he says, the the I, took, I, I took the initiative and allowed them to see the door and they they, they got in. Oh, they're in. They're in. And it's a, it's a massive library. Cool. Well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Have we completed... We've got your back safely, haven't we? So you're going to have to sign the papers. So, <laughs> yeah. get the papers out. Yeah. <laughs> We're not quite oh, finished with Telcasses yet, I think. <laughs> oh, oh that just wait life to sign it. I'm going right. to eat it. <laughs> Give me a pen. I'll get a, get or a, a, a quill, however. Quill out. And the ink. Turn around, Tokas. You're going to have to sign it on your ass. <laughs> no, you're not saying that on my ass. I'll bend down so you can go on my back. Okay. <laughs> I like to get on my knees, whatever. You were running on the thing. I'm going to say, no, sorry. Give it here. Um, and I'm going to turn Thomas round and I'm going to bend him over instead. Oh, why? And I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it on it on his ass, and then I'm going to like stab at the like just have a little puff ah. at the end. <laughs> evil. <laughs> I've never seen someone so evil. Why'd you bend over? <laughs> I was expecting us to sign it. Well, why should I sign right. your ass? So no, I'm a piece of paper. Well, why are you using your ass? Just need something to lean on. Right, I'm yeah, not done. Yeah. Right, well, Harry says there. before you um, all go, he says, um, don't you all want to come see the scribes from Candlekeep? What? They found a library the in the basement. I mean, the they're, 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 they're very library. knowledgeable. Well, I have to go see them anywhere. Right. I can't even remember your name. <laughs> What's oh, his name? I'm Harry. Off the, I'm off the, I'm off the No. Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, that's the one. <laughs> to get out of his paper. Why do I have to sign contract. it? No, you're not signing it. We're doing a new contract, aren't we? For what? We're going down into your basement. <laughs> well, why is that a contract? <laughs> because I'm going to get attacked, probably. It's not a BDSM dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. Right, I've got no time for this. I'm wandering off. I'm off down to the docks. Look, someone has okay. to come down, won't they? Why? You're going to think well, you're going to... Well, I've got these scries from Candlekeep. Don't you want to see them? <laughs> no. Why would I want to see I them? I do. Well, they might tell you something about your tribe or something. They might have some knowledge. Oh, fine. <laughs> right, come right. on, I'll come. Right, is, they might have a... is everybody you know... going? Who's not going? Who is going? I'm going now. I wasn't going to go. I'll be yeah, there. I'm going with him. There's a whole lot of books in my basement, apparently. Right. Let's go. So, Theodric. Take us. Thomas. 
Right, Kramer, are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Raven, are you going? Raven? Have we lost him? He's muted and deafened himself. Oops, his eyes out on his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. Hello? Hello. Are you there? Are you going down to yeah. this um, dungeon? <laughs> dungeon? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, yeah. S&M S S S jump dungeon. Oh, no. It's not an S&M <laughs> dungeon yet. <laughs> it's a library uh, that yeah. they found under um, his house. Right. Yeah, sorry, there's kind of a second. I was just right? listening to the Finland's Eurovision entry. It's fucking class. <laughs> right. So you get down the stairs. Um, Jesus, this is under the fucking house. This is under the house. And you see, obviously, what you see here. Um, it's lined with books. Oh, let's have a look. So it's a circular room. It contains curved dark wood bookcases. It's got books of assorted shapes, sizes and ages. There's flowers in ceramic pots lining the tops of the shelves, giving a sweet fragrance. There are alcoves spaced at regular intervals around the perimeter of the room. Some recordings known or unknown. Okay. Four of them contain polished bronze <laughs> statues of bespectacled scholars, and three hold overstuffed chairs. In the centre of the room, a brass railing surrounds an overlook that gives a view of the lower levels. Hanging from the ceiling above the opening on, in the floor is an enormous stone sculpture of an open book that looks as though the cover is flapping to keep it along. A spiral staircase to the east leads down as well as up to the trap door that you came down, set into the ceiling. The occasional errant firefly flits about. And as you walk in, there is an elven woman. And she is standing precariously on the top of a ladder, arranging some flower pots on top of a bookcase. And she doesn't turn uh, to you. Yep. Yeah. She doesn't turn to you um, as she's engrossed in what she's doing and she shouts, Ebda, are you back? And from the middle, you hear an echo from below. I never left. Oh, and then the elf turns around and looks at you and she looks surprised and she goes, ah, visitors, I'm Scrivania. <coughs> Sorry for the state of things. As you can see, it's a restoration project. I'll be with you shortly. And she returns to her work. And then a moment later, she turns around and she goes, Actually, would you mind bringing that stack of books downstairs to Ebda? I'll meet you there. And she points to a small back stack of books on a stool. Thank you. Okay. I'll grab the books. Okay. What, has she run off now? No, she's just yeah, gone. She's on, she's on top of a ladder and she's sorting out her flower pots. What, are these the scribes from Candle Cave? They are, yes. Oh, they haven't always been here, then. Can I try and catch? Can I try and catch the bowl that my shadow pushed off from the top? What's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up. Little bastard. Grab it. Keep your shadow in line. Pick it up on the floor. Craig would like to ask her if she's got any books on dwarven history. She sort of waves her off. She says, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there soon. Just, just let me finish. Just take the books. Okie dokie. Asking on. sort of out, out of character. Uh huh. Um, in this sort of world, is uh -huh. it like the same with like elves and dark elves and that? Is there like sort of animosity? Uh, yes and no. Depends. Um, looking at this woman, she looks quite old for an elf. You can tell she's been around a long long time does she look like she's like the type that you see in skyrim like the high elf so pompous and that she is a sun elf right 
so she she doesn't look like she's up her up herself. No, not really. I'll uh, I'll play it that way then. Okay. So <clears> are you saying, taking the in books D &D down? D and D is usually the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you take the books down. Now. Well, so I'll head downstairs okay. anyway. Where's the stairs? What? The stairs. This is came like down. a. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. They can carry on downstairs though. Yeah. So I will put your tokens on this side of the map. So yes, you will have two tokens now. If you scroll yeah. down a bit further down. So oh, sorry, you jumped me down here. Yeah. yeah. So the musty smell of books, old books, hangs in the air here. As concentric rings of bookcases dominate the space, with a heavy granite table occupying the room's centre. The table would be a circle, but for six semicircular gaps cut into it around its edge, creating spaces for six chairs. Small stacks of books rest on the table, along with a candle holder that contains firefly-filled jars. Where's Edgar? What are his members? He's in the middle of it. I sit at one of these tables. I sit at this table and hit your shadow in line, for God's sake. Alright. Can you do a wanker sign at him? <laughs> <laughs> um, as you're you making can't... noise from the room up here, you hear a keep your voices down, please. I just put my daughter to bed. What the? F Why are they all moving in? <laughs> yeah, what well, I'm getting sorted out. You want a? Do you want a? A bouncer. I'll, I'll be a bouncer for a few gold. For a library. Yeah, yeah. We really need a bouncer for a library, Turkas. Slam the books well. down. You've got squatters. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like you got squatters. You want someone to be a victim? All right. Can I ask this bloke why you all squatted in my library? Well, we need to have somewhere to stay, and it's better to stay with the books, is it not? Yeah, but why are you staying here? I thought you just came to open it. Well, it's lots of old books. Candle Keats extremely interested in this. Well, these are my books. Yes, they are. So we're just taking ask notes. Ask, That's all. Ask him why he's brought his daughter to work. Yeah, why has he brought his daughter to work? Well, she, work, I, yeah. she doesn't have a mum anymore. So I had to bring Aww. her with me. Right. How's that my problem? Well, if you want, we can just send everybody from Candlekeep here and just take them all. I'm just... Oh, it sounds like he's threatening you there, Fiodri. You're going to take this shit. Is it, it's not threatening. Oh, nice. Just make sure you're we're, going to steal all your books. We're, we're here to, to log and catalogue these books to make sure there are none of them that are dangerous. Yeah, so what's the dangerous? What well, what business is it what business is it of candle keeps if my books are dangerous? Because they could affect other people, not just you. Who invited them here? Yeah, who in that. I invited them here, but I told them to open the door, not to <laughs> fucking squat. <laughs> Jeez, well, well just, if you want us to leave, we can leave. I didn't it's say the leave. perfect opportunity, opportunity to get him to get some rent. That's a good point. You can make him pay to stay here. More than happy, candle keepers give us a uh, some <coughs> gold to pay rent if that's what you wish. We were told by your butler upstairs that we could stay here whilst we were doing the research. That's fine. How long will it take to catalog all these books then? Um. Yes. Ten years. <laughs> Probably years, yeah. Uh, with the speed that we work, a month or two, we kind of know what we're looking for. And what will you do with the dangerous books, if there are any? Well, that would be up to you. Right. Well, you can stay here as long as you've got the money for it, I guess. What the fuck's a dangerous book, anyway? Paper books, yeah, is that a dangerous book, yeah. <laughs> Black magic and stuff. You, you you clearly have never come across some some books 
books um, are possessed, some books, they give off curses. We've even had books that have killed people. Well, are you all fucking cursed anyway? Yeah. Can I say his shadow's fucking skipping about and I'm covered in glowing flies? I can't see no glowing flies, but I'm quite interested. And actually, in dead people. Uh, yeah, and Turkas can hear dead people, but I think that was the same as before, wasn't it? No, no, I couldn't hear dead people before. Anyways, yeah, anyways, Turkish. anyways, there's some um, books on here. Um, if you want to take a look through them, um, see if there's any of them that are interesting or any that you don't like or whatever, you can spend a an hour or so helping us out if you wish. Have you got any books on the afterlife? Um, we haven't catalogued very much. We've only been here like a day. You'd have to ask um, the owner here. Do you know? Me? I don't Probably. know. I haven't, I haven't been here since. <laughs> Where is, where's the Where's the catalog then? Where's the piece of paper you're putting all the names on and stuff? Um, he points to a stack of books. Uh, 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 he points to a stack of journals on the table. You can see a few of them are filled to the brim already. Jesus. Where's the? Can I have a look if there's any books about the afterlife then? Uh, yeah, Specifically there's... Communi communicating with the undead. Oh, if there's yeah. anything. The undead. Or just well, the dead. The dead. So, yeah. Alright, you can spend a few hours floating through the journals, looking through the books, and you all seem to notice that each of you are humming a melody under your breath. Is it Venger Bus? No. <laughs> 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 um, as you are all sat there Ebdar looks up at you all and he does say can you stop I'm trying to concentrate I'm going to say that to Turk I, shut the fuck up I didn't Turk even, yeah. even realise I was humming to be honest well, if we, while we're all humming can I Try and play my lute to the rhythm to see if I recognise the tune. Um, you can, and you can quite easily play the tune. Um, you all realise that this tune is been stuck in your head since you kind of spent at least ten minutes sort of here. Um, and obviously you're all humming along, and you realise that it takes great concentration to stop yourself from humming. Oh, this place is cursed as well, for fuck's sake. It's not cursed, it's just ambient music, isn't it? Is it well, do we recognise the, the tune? You don't recognise it, no. Um, after a little while, you hear mechanical locks and a slam. And then Val Valdi, or not Valdi, Valdia, Runs down the stairs. Where is she? There she is. And then she comes out and she says, I've had to lock the doors. Why? When I first arrived at Candlekeep, the avowed were concerned about a singing madness. A book merchant had been afflicted with it and was put in isolation after several avowed began singing the song as well. She pauses as she looks to you all and you can hear some of you humming it. I don't know what happened to him or the others, but that was 600 years ago. And then she she kind of looks like she's trying to stop herself from humming it. And she says, I've alerted Candlekeep and I've sealed the exit to stop whatever this is from spreading. Oh, for fuck's sake. I had shit to do. Fadeth, why do you drag me down here? What? I thought you were... Well, books. That's why I drag you down here. Yeah, I'm not interested in books. Well, you want to talk about the afterlife? You said we're looking for the catalogue now. Well, yeah, now you've mentioned no, yeah. Can I, can I ask either of these two scribes if they've got any books about communicating with the dead? Um, she says, I haven't personally come across any when I've been cataloguing, um, but I'm sure we can 
help you find some amongst it. If not, we could ask Candle Keep after we've worked out what all this madness is. But surely, oh, if this is a library, everything will be catalogued already, wouldn't it? They'll be alphabetized or something. Well, yeah, that's why it's makes it what makes it so easy. <sighs> right, let's, let's find the what was the title you wanted, Turk? That's what you want. I don't know. Communicate with the undead. Yeah, with the dead. All right, go go look and see then. Thomas, can you make me a intelligence saving throw, please? Oh God! Oh, he's going mad. Not with that one. I'm not. You see what you know to be your worst nightmare um, manifest sort of around you, but with that saving throw, you know it's not real. Good. That's good. My worst work. nightmare is not paying my wife. <laughs> <laughs> can I fuck off to the C-section? Wherever that is. I don't know. I look for communicating with your dead books. Yeah, you can you can have a look. Right. Now that you're doing that. There it is. I can play the tune that you are all humming. And is this man nah. is this man gone mad as well? Yep, you're all humming it. You're all I have a fucking I have as well. Unmute. Where's unmute? I might agree with it as well, that's why I'm going into it. That one. How do I stop? Stop. Right. That's the wrong Let's one. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Evil. That's creepy as shit. Yep. And you're all humming, and you're now all starting to sing the words. And suddenly, you hear a shriek. And overpowering all noise, you hear Ebdar singing this tune over and over and over again for five minutes. And at this moment, you see a child run into the room to try and help him. Clearly, absolutely terrified. Assume it's his kid then. You can assume that. And after five minutes have passed, random books all fly off the shelves. And I need you all to do a dexterity saving throw, please. Watch out, it's the world at worst. Uh, you all passed and managed to dodge the books. Right, can I ask this elf one what's going on? She says, um, it'll be the book. You'll have to find the book. What book? The Book of Madness. He's clearly here. Well then, let's try under M. For madness. <laughs> yeah, M for madness. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, you all that. become aware that this song is not only in your head. Somewhere nearby, a deep and melodic voice is actually singing these words. This is fucking... Can I try and zero in on sound where the song, the other voice is coming from? And in handouts, I will make it so that you can see what the words are. 
So if you look in handouts, there will be the rhyme. Where are handouts? Uh, the little paper icon. It looks like a parchment thing. Yes. Can we look under Shizmim? Shemshim? Shemshim. Shemshai. Shemshim. Can we look under Shemshim Shine? We don't know the name of the song, do we? Well, it's the Shemshin Shemshine rhyme. Yeah. Could be in a book of riddle rhymes or something, aren't there? So you're not searching for where this voice is coming from? Yeah. Yeah, I did say that. Um, do you want to do yeah. the investigation checks? Yeah, I, I would like to thing. use my what you call it, the power, which I have to give me an advantage on the roll. Okay. On investigation. Is it alt? Uh, yes, I think. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. With Thomas, Theodric, and Raven... Working together, you come across in in the room. There is a little room in up here. If you want to move up there? <laughs> and in that door. In oh. there, there is a skull, and it is singing the words to the rhyme. Smash it. No, I'll smash it. <laughs> Ask it. Yeah. Ask it like singing. Do I have the spell active even? It's just singing this song. I don't have the spell. You also notice it is sat upon a book. So it's, it's the book. Can, Can I... I... Grab the book. Can I get my shadow to hold the skull? With mage hand. <laughs> With mage hand you can, yeah. And can it dance? Yeah. Do a little jig with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there laughing at it. Is the book is the book open? The book is not open. <laughs> is it, is right. it still singing while it's dancing about? It's still singing. <laughs> oh my daughter's gonna love this one. Can I put it in my bag? <laughs> yeah, he's still singing. Beautiful. What's going on? Have you found the book? Yes, yeah, this book here. What does the, what's the book called? The book is called Shemshime's Bedtime Rhyme. Awful. And when you open it up, it is a pop-out book. Cool. Even and I, in journal, there should be a picture for you so you can see what it looks like. Beautiful book. Pretty advanced book. Yeah, it's got a little mechanical thing in the song. And as you, um, as the book is playing, you notice that when it gets to near the end, it stops and then returns to the beginning and starts playing again. As if it wasn't quite finished. Destroy it or what? I want to destroy it. It's really worth a lot what? of money. Well, it's fucking it. cursed. I'm fed up with curses already. It's a pretty, it's pretty harmless curse, don't you think? Well, no, they're calling that elf of them. We could all go fucking mad. Yeah, we need to stop it then. Not destroy it. Right, as you're all talking in there, you can hear um, someone running and running up the stairs. And oh. Vanir is shouting, No! You can't! You can't leave! What's Who's going trying on? to leave? And you can see a tabaxi clearly oh, distressed. Tabax What's a tabaxi? It's a cat. Catman. A catman? What's he doing here? How did he get in here? No, he was, he's one of the scribes. 
Oh. Well, she's one of the scribes. Where, where does it stop on the book? On that's the it. Right? That's the lyrics. It stops there and restarts. What if we try closing it when it ends? Why are you going to ask? She might know. Well, it yeah, was already closed, wasn't it? It was already closed, yeah, but it's also been set off, hasn't it? Well, if we close it when it ends, it might just shut Have it you up. actually looked at the pop-up? The pictures? Yeah. Look Look at the last one. The last one's the Shemshine being killed by going in that grinder thing. And that is yeah. the verse that you haven't got. Because look, he's, he's behind all these people getting injured and killed. And the last yeah. one's a little girl killing him in this grinder. Or whatever it is. Like that wheat yeah. grinder that's in the sun. Yeah, it's a flower. Yeah, that verse is missing from the rhyme. Well, we're going to have to try and make it up, aren't we? <laughs> make it up? Are you going to write on so a bit can... of paper? Right? right, can I show it to this woman? Yeah, the book? Current, currently she's trying to stop this um, tabaxi from going running up the stairs. Right, I'll hold uh, you fucking... Go and grab the tabaxi, I'll look at this book. Uh, gas. Alright, Turk is gonna hold her. Alright. Look at here's the book. And she takes a look at it and obviously you can see she's struggling with the tune and everything in her head. All of you are starting to get quite distressed. You've been here a couple of hours now and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And she looks at the book and she says, There's a look sounds like there's, there's there's a verse missing. Where is the verse then? I don't know. This music box is broken. Fix the music box then. And then we've got like engineering or something. Oh. Our engineering doesn't exist in this, does it? So the uh, verse is there, it's just not playing. Yes. Right. Has anyone got engineering? Uh, Thomas, oh uh, Kraber, and Raven, can you make me a charisma saving throw, please? Oh. Just oh fucking God, destroy man. it if we can't fix it, for fuck's sake, it's doing my head in. If we destroy it, then there'll be no... Kraber no and Thomas, you both start singing this song as loud as you can whilst attempting to hurt anybody near you. So you must oh. walk towards oh, yeah. the nearest person and attempt to hurt them. Well, I'm up here, though. Bad luck, Turkas. You can walk out no, and find them. No, I'm, I'm down here with you. There's... Yeah, I'm right next to you. Oh, Craven. Oh, right, okay. Here we go again. <laughs> well, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Who's he shooting at? Thomas. Raven. But why is he Raven. sticking up for his gun? What? Why just... <laughs> are you He's rolling having... this, Fern? I'll drop me to no, roll No, you it. roll it. You are He's compelled oh, to see. I had a shot three times. You compelled. To, you are compelled to sing this rhyme over and over and over while trying to cause physical harm to others. You are f following Shem Shem's wishes. So you would have took twelve, twenty-three. Yeah, I've, I've, I've taken it all off. That was nasty. Right, so I'm kicking Tokas. Yes. Do I just go through my normal attack are. actions? You do your full attack stuff, yeah. Right, I'll try and grapple you. Do you know, bastard? <laughs> he's, he's singing as loud as he can. He's hitting you. Yeah. Right, sort. You better sort it out now, quickly. Right. That you one's a hit as well. Yeah. You've got to do an acrobatics check. I have to. Yeah. Or athletics. Here's Tommy! <laughs> Don't do anything else, Thomas, yet. So he's failed that, so I'd like to uh, do another one to try and do a move on him. Okay. Am I doing acrobatics again? Yeah. Yeah, acrobatics again for me. Yeah, acrobatics yeah. again, yeah. Right, 
different DVD. This is what I was trying to do all that time the other day, but I finally done it on Turkas. So I kicked him in the stomach, then I grab him by the head, uh, and then I turn and I drop my body weight holding his head and snap his neck off my uh, shoulder if possible. Okay. Uh, so I've just issued him with a stone called Stunner. <laughs> so in that um, case, he will have dropped the tabaxi, who is now frightened, and she's just cowering in a corner over here. <coughs> Thomas, can you make me another round, yeah. charisma saving throw, please? Oh. Oh. Kraber, can you make me another charisma saving throw, please? Uh, yes. We are prone now. Uh, 18. So you come out of your... Um, then you stop singing the song, at least as loudly. Um, but you do, know I, that, do I know what I've just done? You know what you've just done. Thomas, you get to can make... I help so you continue singing, <laughs> and you need to make another attack, please. The closest enemy? Just anybody. You just well, got to cause harm. Here we are, there. Him. Him. God's sake. One attack will have knocked him down. So who was your other attack against? One. So the next closest one would be Kaber. Yep. Kraber. 22 and then 15. Against me? Yep. Uh, the 22 is a hit. Is, it, is he's helping me up, I'm just saying, come a bitch. <laughs> if anybody yeah. else... If We're any, even now, my mate. If anybody else wants to jump in and do anything, you can do. Well, you sort this fucking we, mechanism out. Right, we've got, to, we've got to just shut up, don't we? Close the book. Or was so, the book closed before? So if was none of you before. are doing anything... Can you make me another Christmas saving throw, please, Thomas? Aww. Right, how much space we got in here? <laughs> right. <laughs> you continue singing this song as loudly as possible, and you make another attack, please. Against the closest set. Uh... Right. Wait a minute, he just rolled a nat 1. He did roll a nat, nat 1. What's your thing for your nat 1s? Where's my nat 1? On your saving throw. Yeah, that was for my... Yeah. Christmas check. So Not your dad. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Right, the shadow kicks in, doesn't it? Yeah. Did the, did yeah the right, so on a nat 1... Ominous will. Immediately after you make an attack roll, an ability check, or a same throw, and a roll of a one, uh, your shadow exerts a will of its own and might assist or hinder you. Those around you, the next time you or a creature within 30 feet of you that can see, make an attack or ability check, I roll a d4. So roll a d4, and it'll get added or taken away, depending on that first attack you made. So it got added. So 14, 15, so that's a 16. The Raven, alright. Where the fuck is she? She's gone she run off down the box. I'm hiding, hiding from him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a 16 and 18, and then a 9. Any of them hit? It'd be on Kraber, won't it? Because he's the closest enemy. You attacking me? Yeah. That's a miss. Sixteen, eighteen, and nine, and a nine. Oh, sorry, I might have to scroll down then. Uh, sixteen's a miss, eighteen's a hit. Okay, I'll tear that off. Yep. So, That's my attacks. Yeah, if anybody wants to jump in, now's your chance yeah, to. I want to jump in straight away. 
and I want to cast Learman's Tiny Hut to create a 10 foot dome. So it'll be round here. Or it'll just fit. It's just a dome. And I'm going to throw the book into it. Okay. Well, wait a minute. No, it has to be fixed. What do you have to be fit? No. My thought is this this dome blocks all magic gain in and out of it. It'll, oh, shut, right. the, it'll shut the book up. Is my theory. So if I put the book in there, it'll be contained. Does that work, Fern? Uh, you are all still singing and humming. The fuck? Right, um, Valdir says, whilst that was a good idea if we'd had the book initially, we are all infected. Right, can right. I investigate the book, the mechanism in the book? To see if there's anything broken. Yep. Do you want to do me another charisma saving throw, Thomas? I'm going to do an investigation, yeah. <laughs> Make me another attack, please. Right, so it's against Craver again. again. You're our closest enemy. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Is that one in the middle unconscious? Yeah. Would I do it, though? Would I... You are following her wishes which is to harm people yeah but I'd... yeah i know i'm gonna harm people but i've got a um <laughs> would i use that oh no don't do not fucking fireball us you fucking oh in this fucking library no it's full of <laughs> i'll just shoot craper then uh-oh right that's a hit Get behind the bookshelves, Graber. Right, with that your investigation hit. check, Tokas, um, you notice the problem. Um, oh, inside is a brass cylinder dotted with tiny pegs, and when the cylinder turns, narrow bits of metal pluck the pegs to produce the notes of the melody. And you can see that the cylinder is sitting askew, which prevents it from working properly. Skew it. Got smaller. I've got my hands are a bit big to try and fix this. Who's got small little hands? <laughs> Why are you using that logic now? We'll just chuck it here. Well, it's a little man. Like it. little... I'm nearly right. dead here. You'll be all right. Right. Can, what can I use to try and fix it? Sleight of hand. Um, you need to either do. It's just straight dexterity checks, but Check. they require an action. So it would have to be in three rounds to do it. Right. So you can so do I have to one... wait three rounds. So you can do one now. All right. Okay. Dexterity okay. check. Is it? Just a dex straight dexterity check. Right. Um. You know that that you you fumbled as you did it. Um. But you can make me an intelligence saving throw, please. Nice. You take 10 points of psychic damage. Sickening. Um, Thomas, can you do me your charisma saving throw, please? Oh, God. You must have better dexterity than me, Turkos. Right, yeah, you have like now passed. Stop's going nuts. <laughs> you have now passed your... Check, you are no longer screeching this song at the top of your lungs, and you can come back to your senses. Thomas, go pick up Kraber, you just fucking killed him. Is no, he dead? I'm still up, I've got two hit points. How? Jesus. How? Yeah, how? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, uh, I'm just a legend. How's your dexterity then? Right, I'm that? back, sorry, I just had to mute my mic. Is that right? Uh. Are you going to fix this thing, Turk? I do need someone with better dexterity to do it. Right. Well, my as, dexterity is pretty as high. You my dexterity all, is like 18. As you're all doing that, the little girl from earlier comes running into the room and she's holding a large gilded book and she is crying, she's shaking and she has blood splattered on her face and down the front of her clothes. She, oh. she, she says that 
she, either she or Crinkle was possessed, and she had to, she she had to um I had to knock him unconscious. I don't I don't know who what happened. Uh, can I try and f go for this, fix this book again? Yep. Do it again. What was it? It's just it's a straight check, dex wasn't it? throw, yeah. Set, save, yeah, check, yeah. Yeah, that one, you clink the first bit into place. And can you do me an intelligent saving throw, please? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Take 11 points of psychic damage. It's a nat one. Here's a nat one. Do you have a nat one? Uh, mine's for attack rolls, isn't it, though? I think, Man. yeah, yours is a bit slightly different. Uh, let me double check. I think, I'm not sure, though. I will double check for you. How much damage do you say there? 11? 11, yeah. Uh, can you roll me a d20, Tokas? Oh, no, no, no. A d... A d4, sorry. Oh, one. You have disadvantage on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw you make. Uh, disadvantage, you said? Disadvantage, yeah. <laughs> I was going to try and do it like that. Uh, yep. Dexterity check, wasn't it? Yep. There's disadvantage. Six. You didn't quite get that one. Can you do me an intelligence saving throw, please? This thing is fucking me up with that. He's fucking... messing my head. You take half of that in psychic damage. Right. Thomas, what are you doing over here? I'm coming over. Let's see what's going on. Trying to fix this book. The mechanism. Okay. What do you need to do? Trying to fix this mechanism here, look. Every time I fucking do it, though, it hurts me. <sighs> right, can I try again? Yep. Dexterity... Right, you click that bit into place. Can you do me an intelligent saving throw? I'm going to be conscious soon. Is it? Oh, this one's normal now, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Take five points of psychic damage. One circus. So, yeah, you see that there's one more bit left that needs to be left to... Um, Put back into place. Right, one more dexterity. Oh. So yeah, you fumble that one. These voices in your head are, are maddening, and you take. Well, you need to do your saving throw, and you either take full or half. So you take 15. Oh, no, 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 right. Right, I'll keep going, I suppose. Still, I'm unconscious. You just got one more to do. Every step of the way, we're cheering you on. No, oh. you might do me an intelligence saving throw, please. You take 15 points of psychic damage. Right, I'm unconscious. You're unconscious? Yeah. Give me the air. <laughs> Thomas just does it in one. <laughs> I always did a dexterity check. <coughs> to try and get this thing back into the right place. 12. Oh. Can you do me an intelligent saving throw, please? I'm just going to die then, shall I? 
You take 11 yeah, points of care. psychic damage. So give it here, Thomas. <laughs> Dexterity. Yep. Is it a check? Check, yep. Oh, oh. fuck's sake. <laughs> you haven't broke it, don't panic. Although you did, you, you did drop it and stub your toe. Ow. Uh, do me an intelligence saving throw, please. Or you take 13 points of psychic damage. Oh, son. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Go on, then. <laughs> Do we intelligent saving throw? So you're doing it wrong. Thomas, you're doing it wrong. Give it back. 12 points of psychic damage. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. There. Right, it's fixed. You still need to do your intelligence saving throw, please. Uh, you take four points of psychic... No, three points of psychic damage on that one. Right, so as you do that, and you put the class back on, the book trembles, and the mechanical inner workings squeal to a halt for a moment before whirring back to life. You hear clicks and shadows burst forth from the book like steam from a kettle, collecting along the ceiling until wisps of darkness outline a vague humanoid figure. Meanwhile, the scenes inside the book transform, creating an entirely new picture that includes tiny cut-out figures of yourselves. And in your head, you can finally get the last verse in your head, which shows you the tiny representation of Shemshime being crushed beneath a millstone. So, da, 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 where is she? Can I give Tokas a potion? He gets seven back. Oh, is it down his neck? Oh, cheers, yeah. I'm conscious. I was literally just on zero, like, but yeah. Was it a potion of acid resistance? Oh, <laughs> hold on. Right, so. What the hell is that? I need to know who has the book. I am, I've got the book. You've got the book. Right. Oh, what? Uh, I was doing my hit points manually before all that, but now it's put me on death saves. I can't fix it. How many hit points are you going to have? Oh, I forgot how I fucking many I have as well. Bollocks. I think it was like 80 something, 83 or 84. Let me go and have a look in Foundry. What, have uh, you just got rid of your max? Yeah, 83. Right, yeah. Right. Why is this still playing? It's oh, still right. playing. Yeah. Something going on. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, and that. Right. What's so that thing? Is that a shadow? Oh! It's here. Alright, these are gonna move back out the way. Braver? Yeah. He's unconscious, isn't he? Or is he not? No, oh, no. He's just... There we go. Right. Tokas. Uh, I could do with a heal, but I'm going to wade in, in first. All right. If you get in the tiny hut, nothing can hurt you. Nothing magical. I uh, why can't I fucking move? Oh, there we go. Where is the fucker? He's there. Uh... Oh, unless he has a bookshelf. Right, you bastard. 21. Is a hit. Uh, and I'll hit him again. 24 is also a hit. Is that your go? Yeah. He's probably going to kill Why? the next go, isn't he? Twice. Why is it twice? There we go. Kraber? Uh, I want to chuck some books at him. 
No, not the merchandise, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm not going to go to the rocks. You're not going to go to the arm anyway. Yeah, One hit, I'm done. I've wanted a fucking hand to hand with him. Get in here, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve is a miss. That'll break me, fucks. Nine is a miss. That's me, Bill. But the library is just freaking out. All these books getting chucked. Uh, Twenty-three is a hit. Step into the. Okay. Right. Theodric had the book, didn't, didn't they? Yeah. Alright, so it's going to move to there, around you, and then it's going tall. Jacob, yeah. can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? So I'll just click the button. Mm -hmm. I see how it's wisdom. Yeah, just click the button. You passed, so you take half. How much is that? 28. 28. Okay, half of that. Um, right. And then... It's going to... Stay there. Thomas! Right. I am going to shoot it. And then use a superiority dice. Wait a minute. I'll... To tell Tokas to hit it. So I roll my dice. D8. So, uh, yeah. I tell Tokas to hit it so he can make an attack on it. As a reaction. Shem Shine's going to get a great sword up his ass. And then he adds seven to the damage. Okay. Um, as you do that, you realise that it should have probably killed it. It looks knackered, but it's not dead. Oh, I thought I'd not have one of these fuckers. And then I'll get my last shot at it. Okay. Offhand shot, and that's my goal. Again, you hit it, but it's not dead. Destroy the book. Raven. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. 15 hits it, but it's uh, not dead. Get back into the... Uh... Theodric. Right, can I, ask, can I ask the librarian why isn't it dying? It's over there, the shower. Um, what do I do with this book? She says, the rhyme. Listen to look look at the rhyme. Oh, yeah. Have you added the last verse on for rhyme? Um it doesn't actually have the last verse. So oh, right. <laughs> But it's the picture. Oh the picture. Yeah. That like Kraber pointed out. Oh, what, what, where it's getting squashed by a mill? Getting squashed, yeah. Yeah, but it's got a rhyme, Budgie. Oh, right. It's got a rhyme with what, though? Blame, hand, no, it, no, you, No, you have the rhyme, it's just I don't have it to give you a rhyme. And you I didn't have, have time, didn't, I didn't have time to make one. Basically, oh, no, but... it getting squashed, killed it. We have to oh, make no. it, all right, we it's have to right. make each death rhyme with the rest of it, getting no. squashed or whatever. Um, getting squashed, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, <laughs> you've got to squash it to kill it. So, I meant Zorkas. It's not my go yet, is it? <laughs> no, it's not your go yet. So, Theodric, what are you doing? Let's think. Push the bookcase on top of it. That's a good fucking idea, actually. It's on top of the bookcase. Yeah, but if it falls, then it'll get crushed. Tell you what, next time, right, I'm gonna try and do a fucking, I don't know, like a crossbody slam on it. You know what, yeah. 
Right, and everybody else pile it. on top after me, and we'll crush you to death, yeah? I'm going to get this side of the book. No, I can't. If I push the bookcase out, I'll either get Turkas or get that woman as well. The cat. Cross body slamming and I'll pile on. You have to make it gay, don't you, Budgery? Cross it with your Warhammer. How's that gay? Oh, yeah, I'd have a, a bludgeoning weapon, so yeah, I can't really squash it. You that do, was my idea. Well, the owl. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to bring my warhammer above my head and I'm going to crush it down onto, the, onto it. Okay. 25. You hit it, but it doesn't look like it did anything. For God's sake. So, on that go. This woman come down here. And it's going to go to this guy. And she's, he's dead. He's not dead, he's unconscious. And she's just going to drag him up here. And she she shouts over to you, The book up there! The big one! She points, what big one? She points up into the gap. There's a big statue of a book. Won't there? Tokas. Where is the statue of the book? Was it over here? Uh, well, it'll be there, won't it? It's above. Yeah. So we'll maybe have to get him over there, though. Someone has to go upstairs. We have to get him over there, and someone has to go upstairs and drop it on his head. Who's got the most health? To I've got, get I've got the books. I've got the books, so I have to lure him over there. All right, yeah. I'll run upstairs quickly. I'll run off upstairs. Okay. That'll be my full movement to get in position with it. Yeah, I'll most likely. I will move that to <coughs> up there, and I'll delete all the other ones from up there. Whee! Go through the walls. Uh, where am I? I'm there. Yeah, so if I run over here... this Is this the statue here? Yeah, this is the mechanism. Right, I'll get ready with that then. Okay. Kraber. What should I do? You can get out of it if you want. Go help Turkas, even. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll move you up. Uh, what's you can move, don't forget, is it three times you're moving in this? No, it's twice. Or is it? I might have moved I more still, I could still get to you though. Okay, is that your go? Yeah, that's me done. Right. Her go. Seeing as you are there, she's... where's my initiative change? What was it? Um, I did. I usually went after Kraber. It was thirteen. There you go, Jogo. Echo's completely gone. Oh no, it's not. It's not on yeah. yours, it's on mine. Oh, he's on mine as well, yeah. Oh, why's he done that? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> What's your mate? There you go. On the... You were at the end, weren't you? Yeah. yeah last thing. There you go. Okay. So where is it that this thing's going to be dropped? Right in that in square middle. in the in the centre. Well, it's a square yeah. on my screen anyway. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna run over to it. Um, don't be don't be underneath it when I fucking. When it happens. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just like next to the table there. Um, and I'm gonna shout to uh, Theodric to throw me the book. Um, okay. And that, that'll be. <coughs> okay. So 
to touch you up. 23, ow. 19 damage. Yep. Thomas. Right. I'm gonna shoot at it. Okay. It's a hit, but it doesn't do anything. Spend one superiority dice. To do maneuver and attack. Which let Tobias move up to half his movement and not put a, not provoke any attack of opportunity. Okay. Oh, cool. And then right. I am gonna move. Uh, I can't move. I'll move here. Okay. And that's my go. Theodric. Right. I'm gonna move and I'm gonna put the book on this table. Okay. I'll put the book there and move out the way. Does that count as an action? No, it's a free action to put something down. It's a free action, right. I'm going to quickly heal myself then. Cure okay. wounds on my health. Well, back. And that's my turn. Okay, Tokas. Is it in position? Not yet. Not oh, yet! Can, you, can I hold my go till I give, uh, hear the shout then? Yeah. To do it. Yeah. Braver. Right. What are you doing now, Turkas? Ah, right. I'm holding my go till I hear them give the go ahead for me to fucking release the statue books. Actually, is that on a mechanism, dude? You say? Yeah. I just have to pull a mechanism. Yeah. Uh. What? What? Yeah. So, what do you have to do to activate it? You activate it. Shout, basically. No. Uh, no. I'm asking what, what you have to do to activate oh, it's, it. Oh, it's, it's a winch. It does look like it probably would need both of you to do it. Right, okay. Quite well, heavy. I will hold my action then with Tokas. Okay. Raven. Uh, I'm just going to take a step back. Uh, I don't think there's really anything I can do. Uh, okay. So I'm not even like holding really, I'm just sort of passing. Okay. So seeing that, you can take your attack of opportunity if you want it. Me? Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I shall shoot the fucker. Okay. So it moves around this. It gets to. There. Um. Is that all of them? Right. Can, this is for Raven and yeah. Theodric. Yeah. Can you both do a saving throw, please? Uh, Theodric, you take the damage. Raven, you're okay. <coughs> Thomas! Is it in position? I'm not yeah. moving through here. That's my go, I think. Theodric! Is it in position? Like, if I look up, will that book drop on it? Um, it's a rather large... I mean, it's just as big as the table, so yeah. I want to shout up to Turkas. Give him the go-ahead. Okay. Are you staying there? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll fucking release it. Is well. it my turn next anyway? Yeah, but, but you, and... you, you held your action, you two. So can you both do me an athletics check, please? Drop the book. Uh, check or skill, you mean? Yeah, the athletic skill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh 
Oh god. Then that one. Oh, got terrible rolls. Uh, Tokas, it is a nat one. Oh, what do I have to do? Roll me a d4. Kill me, probably. Don't snap the lever. One, you have disadvantage on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw you make as the whispers increase in your head along with this maddening tune. And you do not release the book. Tokas. Uh, can I hold my go again for Kraber to help me? Basically? Yep. Do we try it again? Kraber. Uh, what's so I get another go now? Yeah, it's your okay. actual do, turn now, yeah. Do we both get another go, basically? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you have helped. to you you have to roll with disadvantage, Joe Torcas. Yeah. The two strongest ones in the party failing. Oh, God's <laughs> so sake. just just another athletics, yeah. Yeah, just athletics, yeah. Uh, can I use my? Oh, wait a minute. Can I rage? If you want to. Just do it. I always got the disadvantage. But if I rage, I get advantage on it, don't I? Strength base, yeah, you would. So I'm going to rage and do it again. Boo! Oh, oh, Yakasha! Alright, so you both push this winch. And... No, I don't even want to cast this help. <laughs> and you unlatch this book. Um, this large book statue starts barreling down. And it lands on the table. Um... Raven and Theodric, can you make me dexterity saving throws, please? This is where I get knocked out. After. I was going to say, I was, I was going to do something by word. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> Crunch. Uh, da, 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 da. As you get pushed back, you both take. No, it's not that one. That one. 11 points of damage. Is this me? No. No, it's for them too. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, of course it is, isn't it? Yeah, okay. And then you all see that downstairs that the shadows of Shemshi stay because the book was on the table. The book got destroyed, so they all funnel themselves into the nearest closed book, which then transforms itself into Shemshi's bedtime rhyme. And the humming and the music stops. A minute. Ah, oh. it stopped. It all stops. Um, <coughs> so, um, I have a quick question. Is this, is this? Yeah. Was the book being held up by the statue? Was it being held up by a chain? Yes. Could I jump for the chain and slide down it? <laughs> if you want to. Do you want to make me a dexterity check? <laughs> I was going to do that and write it down, but yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. You still now. need to do a dexterity check. <laughs> 12 there. I'll let you do that because it's... Uh, I'll put you there. Meow. <laughs> And he said that the Shemshine went to another book and that turned into the Shemshine's room. Yeah, and Valdir picks it up and she says, we need to get this locked away so that nobody has to deal with her again. Just destroy them. Well, not destroying them. These are, these are artifacts. Destroy them. Is, is my skull still singing? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's what he's disappointed about. <laughs> anyway, sign the paper. What? Who? Me? You. All right, fine. Just sign a bit of paper. Yeah. Right. Jobs are done. On. Well, who's getting paid for this? You just damaged my fucking library. Um, Valdir <laughs> comes over to you and she hands you a magical bag, and she says you'd probably get some use out of this. 
Um, I should come back. But if you'll let me, I'd like to take this back to the candle keep to lock it away. I mean, yeah, is there any reason why you can't lock it here? Well, can you stop people from coming in? Can you protect it so much? Well, surely if you if you candle keep people as good as you say, you could set up a restricted section, couldn't you? I mean, we could. You want to? You, you, you want to stay here, don't you? I mean, we'd be only staying here temporarily. Yeah, lock it away in here. Lock it away. Where, where is the book? She got all, got She's hold got of hold of it, yeah. <laughs> don't even think about it, Thomas. <laughs> not me. No, Thomas, your daughter's not having it. <laughs> no, well, Shadow, stop touching it. No, the Shadow can't have it either. <laughs> is that not what he's touching? <laughs> So, so what, so what you wanted to do? Are you, are you not going to let her take it to the candle keep? No, I'm not. Why? I want candle keep to come here. Do you like this library so much? Why don't you set up here? Have you seen the size of candle keep? No. Is it bigger than this place? Everyone can do me a history check for that. No, I have no idea what a candle keep is. Nope. Never heard of the place. Doing history, or history. History, yeah. Are you going downstairs, by the way, Kareba? Yeah, yeah, I'll go down. Yeah. Right, so Kraber, Raven, and Tokas, you all know that candle keep is massive it is as from what you know it is the biggest library in the world that you know of it is i'm off it, friedrich for not knowing that yeah it is a keep well yeah. it's in the name isn't it not as big as my tower though Oh, you're that. way bigger than <laughs> that. Well, I don't know, do I? Just take the fucking book. Let him take the book, for fuck's sake. Why? Why shall I let a bunch of mages handle this? <laughs> keep it locked away. I'll keep it locked away. It's my book. I mean, we'll pay for it. How much? She looks across to um, Ebda, and then she looks back at you. What's your price? 10,000 gold. So, or is that too steep? I don't know, you idiot. Go up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go up. She says we can we can get that sorted. This is a book's far too dangerous to be left outside. What's in this bag? What is in the bag, yeah. Give me a bag. It is a bag of holding. A magic bag. You lucky shit. I thought I thought when she said it was a magic bag, it's just a bag full of like hallucinogenic drugs or something. No. Right. Well, that's my bag. <coughs> was it here when it when you got here? No. We've given it to you. Why are you giving me the bag? Well, we assumed that would be worth enough for us to let us take this book, but clearly not. Well, fine, take the book. 10,000 oh. gold in the bag. Okay, we'll get that sorted to you. Thank you. But any other books, if you go poke around, you always ask me before you fucking take them. I did with this one, didn't I? Yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So, you've defeated Sunshine. Um. She goes and unlocks the door at the top, and she makes preparations to get to Candlekeep. Where's the 10k? Well, she doesn't have it on her. She's not going to carry around 10k, is she? All right, they'll they'll FedEx it. <laughs> right. Time for a fucking drink. <laughs> oh, it is. Fuck it is. Um. Are you allowing them to continue working? Yeah, go ahead. 
All right. So let me get you back to that map. Oh, I'm all fucked. We got all the first time maybe. Hack it, look at them all. <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. Nothing to do with me. Fucking was. You were shooting at us. No, well, actually, it was the me trying to fix it that did most of the damage to me. Can we have a full rest, did you say? Oh, we're going to have a full rest anyway, we're like. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, well, I'm off to the pub now anyway, I just wanted to... Alright, I'll be back in a That's second, just while you're sorting your rest. Oh. Bag of holding, what can that hold? Hold. Oh, They'll have like a whip. It'll have a, like a weight limit for depending on it. I think so, yeah. I think the first one's like five hundred pounds in it. Interior space, that's two feet deep and four wait that on. Two feet diameter and four feet deep, that can hold five hundred pounds. Fine, I love that. What? Does it just add £500 to my weight capacity, does it? Uh, if I equip it, I think it would, wouldn't it? I think so, yeah. You can put little people in, like children. Why would I carry I don't know any the rules bag? for this, but they can like they can suffocate and shit like that though, can't they? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do we carry children in a bag? And if you if you put sharp object in it, it's got, like a chance of fucking ripping it and ruining it and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if the bag's fun. overloaded, pierced or torn, it ruptures and is destroyed. And its contents are scattered within the astral plane. If the bag's turned inside out, its contents spill forth and harm, but the bag must be put right before it's used again. Breathing creatures inside the bag can survive up to a number of minutes, equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures. Yeah, there is suffocation rules. Awesome. How about this, right? We put as many children as we can find into it, and then just split it so they all pour into the astral player and never be seen again. Sick bastard. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Depends how much children weigh, though, innit? Is how many you can get in it? Oh, they weigh five hundred. They don't weigh five hundred pounds, do they? No, but no. I weigh like three hundred and fifty or something like that. Do I? Pounds? pounds. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant I'm... IRL. What? <laughs> no, obviously <laughs> my character. <laughs> Would you weigh 350 pounds? I'm like nine foot tall and fucking strength for any jack, yeah. No, buddy, you just weigh 350 pounds in real life. Yeah, yeah. Just a ball. It's gonna say it's been a while since I've seen you, but you just laid in bed. Yeah, yeah. I've turned into one of them obese people that never leave the fucking bed, Jack. So uh, a six year old like, but... child would weigh about 44 pounds. So you can get at least 15 um, of them in there. 15. No, just forget. Think about the space as well. What was it? The space. Sixty-four cubic feet. Yeah, that's just getting them through oh. the, through the hole in it. No, it's the whole bag. Sixty-four feet cubed. 
So just pile, just stick, them on, stick them on top of each other. And then split the bag when I'm sick of them. They'll be all dead though by the time you split no, the bag. I'd do it. I'd do it when they're alive. It'll be a port it'll be a court for punishment. You could get about four of them if you shove them all in. You can or wait. we can we can get Budgie in there. Eleven sleep. Eleven children if you I don't think you have to physically fit through the opening as well, so I don't think it says you, it says you can fit a person, Budgie. A normal person. You just better watch out when you're asleep tonight. We'll put it over. Wake like up and a... try to put a bag over me. Yeah, like so if you, you were if you were laid like an arrow, yeah, straight as an arrow, put it like yeah, a bin line, could... bin liner over you, like a bin liner, just clip it down, and then you'd be in it. Yeah, then we'd split the bag. Never see you again. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an evil bag. They're on about fucking putting children in there and then rupturing it so they end up in the astral plane. No, there's a chance they go in the astral plane. Oh, and then they will fucking do it, talk about doing it to me when I'm sleeping. It's, <laughs> if, if you destroy the bag, it's only a chance. It's a chance I'm willing to take. <laughs> Well, I'm going to start drinking again. See Budgie get ripped time. from existence. I've been fucking... <laughs> to see that. Oh, excellent. I'll rip you from existence with my giant cock. All right. Again with sure the bombing, no Budgie, for fuck's sake. Right, so, right, if you if you put it over his cock <laughs> then, and then pull it tight, <laughs> wouldn't it take most of his cock away? Yeah. <laughs> and then rupture Don't it. Don't think be... of it. <laughs> Magic <Right>. condom. <laughs> drinking time. Yeah, it is drinking time. <laughs> <coughs> All contraceptive be... makes it disappear. Right. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna use it to store stupid shit like fucking. I'm just gonna carry loads of like insane McGubbins in it, so when someone finds me dead, they'll just find like just. Mental amount of shit on me. Why is he carrying a chair, for example? Can you fit a chair through the opening? Yeah. Don't forget. A folding you... one, you could. A folding yeah. chair. Folding yeah. chair. I thought the opening was only small, like. You Too can maybe fit his head in it. I don't know. Look, but you can fit a person in it. That's all we need to know. Yeah, I thought it was like a drawstring bag. Maybe you could fit somebody's head in it. I don't think you could fit a person in it. It says you can hold people in it. it. Says it right on the price tag, right on the description. I've got more books to sell when they crop up. Yeah, we want a piece of that fucking pie, by the way. Since we all took a kicking for it. I suppose. I suppose you've earned a share when it comes in. Right. My library's for banned literature, not for fucking cursed books. Good. Okay. This has got porn in it. Yeah, just porn. Endless racks of it. World's largest porn collection. Yeah. <laughs> no one will suspect the priest. I think they will. Yeah, you'll be first on the list, you would. <laughs> Right, so you spe- you're spending the rest of the day and night drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get our tankard out and start drinking. Can I put a How pipe much... of beer in it? In the magic bag? I suppose. I did have Maybe. I did have plans, but fucking that ruined it. I'll go in the morning. What were your plans, Turkas? Look for that bastard who fucking told me about my sister. Right. And yeah. throttling Jeff, mainly. That's what my plan was. Throttling Jeff? <laughs> throttling him. I can't remember oh, his I name. Thought, Tom, I, thought that his, I thought that was his name. Throttling Jeff. Looks <laughs> like a nice guy. No, fro- Tommy. That was his <laughs> yeah. name. Right, so are you all drinking to the point where you're slaughtered, or...? When he's drunk, can I get my shadow to move his pint away from him all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Put his fingers in it. Oh. 
Oh, it's such a mischievous shadow. And that's just pure evil, so, like a shadow that wipes the heads off of beers. <laughs> you have to keep your shadow in line, Thomas. No, it's going to rain free. <laughs> Not if we're looking at it, it isn't. I'll keep an eye on it. Well, I won't keep an eye on it if it's just for bullying Turkas, I guess. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it, then, if it's going to annoy me. Are you going to try and watch James's shadow all night? Yeah. Well, yeah, but... Uh... Yeah, when it's not being watched, it makes threatening gestures or creeps towards people. <laughs> yeah, but it also fiddles with or occasionally breaks tiny non-magical objects. But it doesn't yeah. have to be not watched to do that one. <laughs> just like... on the floor every time. Yeah. So occasionally throughout the um, night, you're, you, Tokash, you notice that Thomas's shadow just drops your pint on the floor. All of us. Can I get another pint and chuck it at the shadow? Off. <laughs> he can if he wants. Doesn't do anything. It's just the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catches it and drinks it. <laughs> I'll get another pint and drink it. Would it drink a shadow pint? <laughs> yeah, that's it, it would if pint, it was, a, yeah. a shadow of a pint. Yeah, shadow pint. You have to you have to buy an extra one and just put it next to you all the time, Thomas. So drink. can you get a piss then? Well, I'll be pissed when I'm pissed, wouldn't it? He's stumbling all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> does, it get, does it get more mischievous as more I get drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Unlocking people's doors. <laughs> why though? <laughs> it's an asshole. But why is it unlocking doors? Because it, it can use mage hand, can it? Yeah. You will oh, your unlo- mage hand, so yeah. Evil. Unlocking people's doors. Unlocking people's doors in the dead of night, so they get <laughs> so they're easily burgled. Brilliant. <laughs> Right, before we go on to the next bit, it is 10 to 11. Is everyone okay to carry on? Or do we want to stop there? All right, carry on. We normally stop at midnight, don't we? I know we normally do, it's just just in case. All right. Because I know how much you lot piss about. I'm uh, I'm a bit knackered, but I'll go with whatever the majority want. Um... I've got to be up at like five-ish, but whatever other people want to do, I'm not first. Jesus. I mean, because this is quite a good point to actually stop it, and then it's fresh for the next quests for next week. That's all. So that's why I wanted to if suggest Foz wants, it. If Foz wants to, I'm on board. I'd like to carry on, but if Foz wants to stop, I don't mind. Hello? Hello. 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 So we've got Jack and Foz that are a bit tired. So I think it might be best we pause it there and mm. we'll come back next week for the next quests. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Um, You will probably be levelling up at some point next week. So... Just be aware of that. I don't think there's many of you that actually get anything at next level. Choices wise. Can I get <coughs> can I get on at Bell about me uh see if it's gonna be an option to make these brushes or if it's something um, that's out of her She is she has put the word out um with her contacts to see if there's any about. So she will come to you with any that she finds. As and when she does. Thank you, Bill. So, if anybody else wants to ask anything now, I get our money. money. For what? From Candlekeep, the bastards. Well, she's gone to Candlekeep. Yeah, well, is she going to come back? Well, yeah. When's she coming back? Well, none of you asked her. 
<laughs> Fucking asshole. He's never coming back, is she? <laughs> oh, God, F. Yeah, Candle Keep's oh. kind of, it's, um, if, if you look, if I put you, I'll put you on the world map, and then you can see how far away it is. They're fucking miles. It's not miles. It's still on the Sword Coast. Um, you are above Waterdeep, up here. Uh, Candle Keep is down at the other side of Waterdeep, down here. Yeah. So if I get a a thingy, where are you? There. So there. God, just travel forty three feet. Well, you don't know how she's travelling. <laughs> By ship. Oh, while well, we're on the whale path. Do you remind me where I'm from again? I couldn't. I was looking for it last you time. I wanted to find it. from... Where are they? The, the Summit Mountains, but I couldn't fucking find them. Ojario, Ojario, something like that. Let's have a look. It was... Was it South East somewhere? Of what? Orison Mountains, wasn't it? This one over yeah, here. Yeah, that's it. Where are they? I can't see that. Let me find my thingy. So you're up there. There. Oh, there it is, yeah. Look at that, Miles. But yeah. yeah, so basically you travelled from there across here. So you actually did go past Candlekeep as you came up to Waterdeep and then up to here. Yeah. Depending if you went that way straight across or if you went up like that. That's up to you to decide. So, yeah. Um, anybody else have any other questions? I uh, no. don't think so. Oh. All right. So I will catch you all next week then. Um.